how affiliate works. I agree, Tyler. Hopefully it works. Welcome back, and we're probably sorry. Uh, you might have noticed something's weird about the, uh, the, the character slideshow. The fact that it's not there because Tyler forgot to add it in post like he said he would. Don't worry, it's a notepad. Uh. It's just, it's just me fucking recording myself for three hours straight of just me flipping the notepad over and over. I respect it. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to the dicey situation. We're here, and yeah, we're here. Uh, do, do, do. Hopefully we'll get things working again for next week. Also, hopefully the audio is fine. It looks like hopefully there is audio. It looks like it's decent. Um, so yeah. Hey Jordan, do you want to do the recap? No. <laughs> Get kick from now from the campaign immediately. Get him out of here. Kick him out. <coughs> uh okay, last time on the last time everyone died. But last time that was the one I'm talking about right now. We have new characters. So let me talk about them. Uh I'm just I'm just gonna talk about mine because mine's the best one. Uh we have Jizz. He's monkey. I thought you were just gonna stop it. We've got jizz. He's just jizz. Anyway. Uh, what what else happened? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got a name off the characters, Jordan. Uh, we have uh Eden's new character Eterna, which is uh wolf lady question mark. Fox lady. With a... I feel bad with... for Eden right now. Like with a mechanical like a cub. Fox. Yeah, with hey, what lady? Cup. A moose lady. <laughs> Listen, you uh, okay? I said a wolf lady. I mean, you could be a moose lady for all I know. Why Who else do we have? We have old man like himself. This? Old, just old oh, man. Old man Hansu. I mean, from Overwatch. All right, now, all right, cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's not allowed to say that. Oh yeah, Blizzard might sue us and yeah. shit. I, I will censor right. it. I will censor it. We're just gonna watch in here. Oh, you mean like beep, from Overwatch? <laughs> beep. No, no, it's beep from beep. Yeah. Can't uh, even say the word. Tyler, you now have to us. beep everyone out saying the word. You're really gonna do, give me extra work, huh, Owen? Yes. <laughs> Alright, um, you, you what's know, happened? You, you uh, make a reference to watch with my character and hand, so I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, I stole Ruben's coin purse. Um, he got mad at me. Also stole his pants. No, that's I, not I, canonically I, what happened. No, no that's not canonically I'm, what I'm happened. I'm not, that's not what's happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm editing that part out of the fucking, <laughs> I'm editing that part out of the episode. <laughs> That's not in there. Uh, we beat up the old man, and then we have the whole group together. Yeah, that's about it. So, Jordan, you okay? As you all come to consciousness within the last grotto bar, um, and kind of slowly Wait. filter down to breakfast. Um, I'm already there early morning with a cup of tea, having arrived from work. Hold yeah. on, didn't we stop at getting uh, Ketzel on board? No. We, we were no. telling Ketza, Ketza. Um, we were telling Pretzel that uh, we gonna need some help navigating shit. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we were at the apartment, though. Uh, yeah. no, we finished no. at the, we finished at the tavern. Oh, we huh. went a little bit further past that. Never mind. Oopsie daisy.
Guys, why do I feel so hungover? Maybe because you drank your ass, your ass out of this fucking bar. <laughs> you talk funny, monkey man. I sure do. Get the fuck off of me. Get off of me, fucking bitch. Ben, so what the fuck are we doing, guys? I'm waiting to hear back from Ketzel about we've had the a long rest ruin that we're gonna go. Charlex, you return um, having successfully gotten the horse for the price you'd set out to get it for. Which was, if I remember correctly, uh, 75 gold? Yeah. Yeah. 75 gold. Did we get a long rest at the end of last session, yeah? Yes. That's what sleeping okay. does. I do like sleeping. Uh, so. When I left, we went to sleep. So. Charlex! Uh, oh, yeah. Did he get I'm the back. horsey? I did. Here's your change. Fuck yeah. Y'all paid for it? Okay, never mind. It's 134 minus 75. You do the math. Good luck. Okay. I, I see how it is. <laughs> Let me pull out my fantasy cal calculator. You should do it wrong just to make him give you some extra money. I just hand you my go- Uh... Uh... Out. Of money. My out. Out. So, I got cool. the horse. Uh, uh, what, what, what gender? Is it a boy or a girl or both? It doesn't fucking matter. It's a horse. Well, we need to name it, Jizz. And it's actually. It Why do you say my name with such disgust? I don't. Well, because Jizz is kind of disgusting. Let's be honest here. Can't argue with that one. Probably. Um. It, it, it has its own name. It's a oh. sugar cube. Oh, I was gonna name it Doug. Well, it's sugar cube. Oh, it's thank God it came with its own name. Yeah. Actually, uh, it talked and it said it was a sugar cube. Wait, you can did talk? You did it also hey, say you should respect hey, his... You. Did, I... you sh did it say that it should respect their life choices as well? That's okay. Um. Oh, you also got the the. I almost said chariot. No, I couldn't find a cart. I just got the horse. So we just have one plain horse for what? Six of us? Well, we're getting a cart. Calm down, God. Hey, I'm just I'm just making sure we have all of our baskets in order. No, there is no baskets here. Yeah. Actually, we need a big basket to fit all of us, so. So, um, I see that Ruben was able to get people. Hello. Hi. Uh, you would be... My name's Jizz, I guess. I guess. Poor monkey this boy. That's kind of too old. Okay, uh... And... This person? Hello? What, the old guy? Yeah. Hello? Hmm. Hello. Um, what's your name? My name is Hansu. Hansu. Su. Oh, Hansu. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um... Nice meeting you. Is, wait, wait a second. Is it Hans or Hans? Hansu. Hans. I thought it was Hans. 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 I thought it was Hans. Hans. Hans this entire time. Hand. Man, maybe you should fucking get your names in order. Yeah, Jizz. It is a uh,
pleasure to meet you. Um, may I ask your name? Yes, uh, Shalex. Pleasure. You know, I've come across many of your general species, but I've never met someone quite like you. I'm told I'm quite unique. Um, interesting. You've come across my species. Huh. I've traveled. Uh, you will have to tell me something about them. I haven't come across any of them. Hmm. Um, well, uh, Maybe on the road. Maybe. Where, where would you even find species like, uh, what's your name? Would you say Shaw Lex? Shaw Lex, yes. Where'd you, where'd you see people like that? Oh, we, we uh, found found them at a, on, on a kind of, uh, Shaw Lex, do you want to tell them that uh, you were kind of uh, taken by the Dark Orcs? Ooh, is this a, is this a daring tale? Let me pull up a seat. It's not much of a tale. Um, one day. Ah, uh, you gotta give it some exaggeration, you know. Oh, exaggeration. Give, give it, give it, give it pizzazz. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the, I'll do the sound effects. I'll do the sound effects. Da -da 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 -da. I was uh, in charge of uh, saving this beautiful princess from an orc camp, and um, what's her name? She fell in love with me, and I with her. However, um, when we were sneaking out of the camp, she made noise, and I told her to run, and I got captured. She she made noise? What a heart-wrenching story. It's not true, but it is heart-wrenching. Uh, what if we just pretend it is? You know? like wait, it's not, wait, it's not better. true? It's not true? No. The true version oh. is uh, I was in love with this guy. Uh, he was the lord of a town, and apparently he was paying off uh, the dark orcs uh, to um, leave the town alone. Um, we fell in love, and he sold me to the dark orcs. Dark Oak. Hold, hold, wait, hold you, on. Wait, you guys, I don't think that's love. So, you, you fell in love with him, and he just gave you off to the enemy. That. Yeah. I, wait a second. Is this new information think, to y'all guys? I, I think this is one sided. Yeah. I, he, how long have y'all been together together, like a party? Just, well, Char well, Charlux here has only been with us for like, what, a couple days now? I don't know, I was kind of unconscious for the most of it. It's also not the true story. Can I do an insight check a lie in, again? The, uh, in the true story part? <laughs> I'm inciting. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Never mind, I don't want to incite. I'm gonna I'm, fully I'm, believe everything that this person says. I did it! I did it, guys! Um. <laughs> yeah, I got a high insight, guys. <laughs> You are pretty high. Um, not, not true story. Um, Poyo, you think with, the princess is a true story? Uh, I don't know. I don't 30, know what to believe Han anyone more. With that thirty, Hansu would also get some, uh, likely some form of insight into maybe a little bit of why you're avoiding telling the true story. Um, Just like a general feeling. It is it like a regret or something? Like I'm trying to exaggerate, trying to make myself look a little more traveled, but doesn't like lying too much, so always tries to come clean. Trying to sound cool. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so ho hold on a second. Uh, what what kind of town is this? Where are you from? Me? Uh, from the north. I I feel like everything's north. Can you give me a little bit more description? Uh, mountains. Snow. Do you not know the name of the fucking country? 
Well, well, calm down, buddy. Hey, I'm just, hey, I ain't being Jim, rude or anything, but you know. Just wait a moment. Um, how far north? Was it cold? I feel like mountains are cold. Very cold. No, it... Did you, um, when you were taken by the Dark Oaks, did you head past a lot of land to get south, or were you it more, um, a natural, uh, ocean for the entire time? Um, neither? Mm. Both? It's weird. Hmm. Wait, were the, did the Dark Orcs come from the south or from the north? I mean, to be fair, to be, to be fair, it is kind of hard to figure out directions. Well, it, it came is. that away. I don't have a compass it's, or anything. It came it's that away. That they came from somewhere, and that the more of I appeared somewhere. You appeared. So, like, you don't remember. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Was all this happening? I haven't got an answer for this. Up north, could you? Okay, I'm not gonna get in for any information, am I? Yeah, when is a good question? When did this happen? Um, let's see. I got captured a week or two before you guys found me. Maybe. Do this I need to do on the mainland? Insight? Yeah. Um. Hansu I'm trying to gauge if rolling, this is a... Hansu, rolling, uh, rolling off of that 30 that you had, um, mm. you feel like it's likely closer to the longer end of that range, mm -hmm. um, but that a lot of what Shalex is saying, uh, even though she seems to be kind of dodging Dang. the questions... Most of what she's saying, they. Feel, they, they, you're right. I'm sorry. Come on, Alan. Uh, you, you feel like they're kind of dodging the question, mm -hmm. but not outright lying. Okay. All right, I want to do this one more time, Shalex. Okay, all right, eye contact. Okay, look at me. Are you ready? Uh huh. Sure. Okay, uh -huh. I'm gonna name it's off some countries. Okay, are you from the mainland, like a big land? That's not a country name. I'm getting there. Shut the. F okay, I'm getting there. Don't worry. Man, you you really have yes. anger issues, don't you? Okay. Are you from Yanyan? Do any of us have a map of the mainland? Alan, do any of us have a map? <laughs> you are all well enough versed in geography to know the basics of where each country is. Yeah, Silver. <laughs> Answer the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, um, out of character. Alan, read your DMs. Alan, read general. <laughs> <laughs> If he casts a spell. <laughs> there is one spell that I can't cast that would be so here. useful. I need your help. If you realize there are maps available, right? Silver? In yes, board. But I do not remember where we decided. 
It's uh, there. You're correct. Okay. Thank you. Um. Oh, and you are okay. also correct. So. On um, which um, thing? The most recent thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. I grew up in. Uh, Vessium. Vessium. Okay. Far away. In, in Vessium. Yes. Vessium doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I have it, this. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's, it's been rumored to, but hasn't been confirmed. Oh, that's where when have I, these rumors been taking place? Jesus. That's where I grew up. I haven't been there for a little bit. The feeling's taking over now. Nine years, maybe? Nine saying. years? That's a little bit more than a little bit. Wait, you're you've been away that... from your family for nine years? Um, I, I've been with my grandfather. Oh. At least some sort of family, I guess. Yeah. Sherlock, you're yes. saying that the northern part of the mainland still has inhabitants that aren't under the control of the lich. It's pretty bold of you I, to assume that like nine said, years I've, it kept, uh... Like I said, I've been gone from there for nigh about nine years. I haven't gotten too much info. All right, wait, are there What's... Dark Oaks, are there Dark, so dark Oaks in Vessium? Vessium. Um, I'll, I'm sticking by what I said, Vessium. Actually, the trees around you were mostly spruce, not dark oak. Not dark oak. <laughs> Bug dung. Yeah, there are no dark oaks. Um. Yeah. Now, um, Vessium and Pertia uh, make up what are referred to as the Northern Kingdoms, uh, the same way that Kesthernia, Ulysandor, Hasia, Erao, and Yanyan. Uh, make up what are called the Southern Kingdoms. Yo, are the Fearlings the Middle Kingdoms? Uh, the Fearlings the is the Middle Kingdom singular. Middle Earth. Got it. The Middle oh. Kingdom. Um, you, you all would notice that Hansu's face has just gone flush. Flush? Mm hmm. You, you look like you need to go to the bathroom. Uh, do you know where it is? Uh, that's. It's. It's not that, um... Take your bills today, Grandpa? I can show you the, the bathroom if you want. It's... it's very much not that, um... I if you're from the south... Not, not from the southern, no. No, if, if you're from the southern kingdoms... Like I am, um... We have not known for years... Whether or not for any... Of the kingdoms in, in the north above Namjion, or what formerly was, um, was still existing in any sense. Um, it's been uh, centuries. Uh, Alan, quick question. Quick answer. Um. How are the, like, the connections between the southern countries and the northern countries? Uh... Tenuous and difficult. Um... There's absolutely no contact as far as overland travel goes. Uh... The most contact that there is... Is the occasional ship that sails wide around the, uh, Fearlands coast. Um, there's there's not a lot of communication there, except maybe by magical means, but you're not aware of any of that. Boy, howdy. Okay. So yeah, um, I promise I'm not just talking BS. Yeah. Alan, look at Ian's thing. A DM. Ah. Uh. Uh. So yeah, 
got got someone from. I have a friend up there. Wait, did the dark take the, the, the did the dark orcs take you from Vesium? No. Oh. That's a bit far away, don't you yeah. think? So you left Vesium to go to where? And then you got captured. Um, I left with my grandfather. Uh, and then about a week ago, I appeared down here and got caught by the Dark Orcs. Okay, there's that word again. Appeared. That's not a word you hear too often when, you, when you're when you talking about traveling. What, did you just get knocked out or something? You just teleport somewhere? Kind of. It's not teleport. It's. Well, I hope not. It's not teleport. I don't think. Why? It's... Why would the dark orcs would need ships if they could just more teleport? Like, you know. It's more like a phasing through realities. Huh? Oh, that makes much more sense. <laughs> I'm just Imagine gonna. Imagine that all the planes are standing all on the same spot, but not on the same. Spot, they're all like kind of sideways while everything is in motion and they keep on moving. And then it just happens that sometimes there are spots where they align and cross, and then just these. Alan, what? Jesus. Alan, what kind of check do I need to understand what he just said? Oh, so you uh, look at Arcana. Arcana. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that too. I know I'm gonna Ten. fail. <laughs> I know I'm gonna fail. Natural twenty. <laughs> Alan, you're gonna you're gonna read the stuff in general. Eterna is trying to say some stuff, some wibbly wobbly. Eterna, as stuff. far as the game is currently concerned, Eterna is still asleep. Oh. Damn. Damn, Damn, you Eden. just got the cold shoulder right there. I'm sorry, Eden. Sorry, Eden. Man, Alan, that's, a, that's such a cold shoulder. God damn. That is a cold shoulder, man. Would I be able to gather some? Have gathered some paper? Hey, I um, think I gathered some something too, Alan. I think yeah, I gathered I it. I turned it from my room. Waiting for everyone to shut up so that I can describe <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Jizz. No, my name is Jizz now. <laughs> oh, my name is Jizz. Jizz uh, in my Jizz. pants. As, as uh, Shalex is describing this, Poyo, um, you haven't studied uh, planar magic or the arrangement of the planes uh, in any sense. But you suddenly kind of Almost like a wall of amnesia kind of fades away over a particular memory. Um, you suddenly have this realization of knowledge that you've never had before. Um, uh, the planes, uh, the way that Shalex is talking about them. Uh, you get the sense that Shalex is talking about some form of plane shifting shift. magic uh similar to what you saw Carinth and the uh younger dragons do when they uh left for elven vale you you can you can plane shift you can uh do no. the no 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 oh. I, I, I can't you, do that okay yeah. you you were plane shifted by something. Uh, right? Sure, that's, that's a better description. Yeah. Yeah. You were, uh... Yeah. You remember what happened to you before you got plane shifted? I was with uh, my troop, and we were exploring a portal, and something happened to the portal as we were exploring it, and... Did it explode? I... Not sure. I just remember falling and then landing and then orcs. And Wait a second. 
So the orc didn't. Were you the only person that? Were you the only person that went through the portal? Thing? No. No, the portal somehow did something, which caused them caused Shalak to sh plane shift. So. It, it was only Shalak that plane shifted. No, it's possible that uh, it's completely possible that the Shalak's other friends or whatever also plane shifted, but random in random locations. That that is a possibility, yes. So your grandpa's just out there. Somewhere. No, my grandpa wasn't with us. Oh, well, you, oh, whoever was with was... you, God, uh, God, who knows where they are. Rest in peace, probably. Yeah, they were pretty strong, I'm sure. They can handle sure. themselves, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, that was a really neat story time, guys. Anyway, uh, hey, uh... I wonder if Quetzal sent that raven. I think it was a crow, actually. Well, is tomato, it, tomato. Is it, a feathered, is it a feathered tail, or is it like a pointy tail? That's how actually, you to, actually, you know what? I think it was a peacock. I think he sent us a peacock. Peacocks are cool. Peacocks are cool, man. That, that's Roll a perception wild. check, Poya. Did it have a big tail or a small tail? Because that's well, let's tail. find out. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, uh, this is rigged, guys. <laughs> Roll 20 is rigged, Alan. Roll 20 is rigged. Confirmation I my, bias. I sacrificed my second cousin for this. <laughs> what second cousin? Bro, the next person that rolls is going to roll in that one. I call next roll. I mean, I've already said something to Alan that will probably require me to make a roll. Damn. I was really hoping for an hour. That doesn't... That, you're not allowed to do that. You're the DM. Yeah, you don't DM. count, Alan. You don't count. You don't count as a person in this campaign. Oh. Wow. Man, right, I yeah. gave him the cold shoulder. Exactly <laughs> my point. <laughs> this is go. rigged, Alan. Literally rigged. <laughs> Literally rigged. <laughs> I'm fucking done with this game. Not at the moment. You Get me out of here. Usually you do, but at the moment you're just asleep, so you don't. Alan, we can both assume that I'm, I'm not paying attention doing the thing that I mentioned. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Poyo, as you kind of are like, man, I wonder if Ketzel did the thing. Um, you kind of just like glance around the room and you see Ketzel like two tables down, just chowing down on a stack of pancakes. Ketzel, my man! My boy! Oh, oh hey. Oh. Um, sorry, didn't want to interrupt. No, it's fine. We, we just finished that long uh, story. Right. Did you find anything? Well, like I said, what was it, yesterday? The days have started mm. to blur together, I'll be honest with you. Um, no, they all. I most of the time when uh, expeditions head out into Vilsaurus, they don't exactly know what they're heading towards, but I do know some places, um, mostly a little bit towards the southern half of the Underpeaks, uh, where there's been trails that I've seen that the groups that I was with at the time decided not to follow. So I can likely lead us to something interesting at least. Cool. Also, so do you, uh, do, do you know where you happen to we can find a cart? We got a horse ready to go. But we could use a cart. <sighs> or a giant basket. Preferably a cart. I'm not sure if we have anyone uh, large enough to carry us all in a basket. Um, probably a Reuben. Reuben's pretty strong, I think. Ah, uh, yes. Let me get really angry so I can just throw all of you. What is that? Uh, just, one, just us two, like six of you. 
on top of me. Something. Uh, yeah, I don't and think that's horse. gonna work, Poyo. And the horse. Ah, and yeah, the horse. And, and the horse. The horse too, while you're at it. I can't no, forget I'll, the horse. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. No, I'll catch the horse midair. Yeah, no, I I don't I'll think that'll the horse. Work, the horse has a name, Sugar Cube. I no, can maybe carry. I can maybe carry uh, Jin or Hansu. You know, maybe one of them if one of their bro. You cannot bro carry Hansu. How big is Hansu? He's no, not... Hansu would literally just crumble. Because into I mean, I need to recalculate his BMI to get it right. <laughs> just well, <laughs> luckily for Jewel, um, I do know uh, one of the groups that I've worked with before uh, has recently gotten back in town. Uh, and they had a cart, so I can probably go and buy it off of them. Uh, Should I lend some money, or are you I could good? I could probably do it for 20 gold. Okay. I'll see if I can get it off of them for 15. But, uh, well, they're not going to be using it for much longer. Or I'll... for a little while, at least. Um, I'll pass over Ketzville a platinum. Keep the change since I'll be gone for a while. You know, use it for rent. This is half of what I asked for. Then two silver, two two platinum. Ooh, I gave I gave <laughs> him platinum. Silver. Platinum, platinum's ten. Yeah, one platinum is ten gold. He said. Oh. Insane. I was I was thinking it was a hundred gold for some reason. No. Keep the change. Gives us if half the only, money. If <laughs> only. Me. All right, your total is twenty fifty six. Hands a ten. Keep the change. Keep the change. <laughs> Keep the change. I'm in debt now. Away. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Just roll right, high deception. All right, I I pass him over the two platinum. He kind of scoops them up, uh, and like flips them up in the air and catches them. All right, well, um, I'll go get on that then. Uh, make sure I get there before anyone else does. Uh, are we heading out later today, or are we going to leave tomorrow? Yeah. Or... L later, later today. All right. And unless you guys, unless you guys uh, want to do stuff before we uh, head out. What else are we gonna do other than sit around and do fuck all? Ruben pats his axe. I got all I need right here. I got all I right, I, I, right swords. <laughs> Where were you keeping those? Hey there, buddy. And on yeah, that... this little uh, midday drinking, you know. <laughs> yeah. on, on, on that what, slightly hold your uh, gibberish note, Ketzel heads out to go acquire cart. 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 Alright, well, right. while he does that, uh. Oh, yeah. Logan, uh, yeah. I have some health potions. By health potions, I mean I only have three. I also got some poison, anti poison. So, uh, if you're all. If you're all, like, uh, very uncomfortable with poison, you. You take, take one. There's only three, though. No, I'll just set it on the table. Are you handing them out? I'll take one. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming I'm spending this time doing the thing I mentioned. Yeah. What I is it, Blue? Take a healing potion. What do I need to roll? What? Um, do you have cartographer's tools? No. <laughs> All right. What is it, Charlix? Um, we were supposed to talk to the dragon. Oh, I almost, for I almost forgot. Dragon. Should I just summon him here? What, in this fucking... Yeah, I don't care. Probably roll maybe a, you want to uh... summon him outside, maybe. Listen, listen, it's fine. He can, he, sure? he, he can, he can fit. Actually, no, I'm not sure. Probably not. Right, am I allowed to take healing potion? Yeah, you take roll a, uh... one, right, one healing one. potion, yeah. Roll an intelligence check at a disadvantage, Hansu. Okay. I give one through Disadvantage Ruben. because well, you don't really have experience in making maps. You get well, one GM, potion but healing that's upgrader. Not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not great. Um, but Hansu, you draw a serviceable, if 
crude map of the mainland. Huh. You know, if you look at it in a certain way, Hansu, it looks like a horse. You know, I never- I thought Yitlisendor was spelled with two Y's. Yeah, what happened? Wait a no. second. I was- I was mistreated in school class. <laughs> they didn't cool show class. me this. I was homeschooled, dude. Um, dude, lucky. Yo, where's the you are so... here sign on this map? <laughs> We're not there. <laughs> Alan, Alan, I just off to the side just draw a small circle, which is the Shattered Isles. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I we point out, here. I point out around the top, there's like a little mountain section, and I say like, around there, that's where I'm from. That mountain section isn't a mountain section, it's actually like a forest, I'm like, oh, that is, that is meant to be a mountain. Good to know. Um... So, um, you, I don't know if anyone been... else. I've not. I, uh, no. in my, even in my age of years, um, I, uh, never knew that the North Kingdoms existed still. Well, um, around this mountain right here, well, around there, there's, uh, a near perpetual, uh, snowstorm. It goes for most of the year, and it covers the whole mountainside completely in snow. It's amazing. Uh, you all also notice that there are four locations that are specifically marked on the map. Um, one in uh, a northern kingdom, one of the northern kingdoms. Um, uh, it'd be first, yeah, know. I believe. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> one of which is is in Fertia, one in Arau, one in Casthernia, and one in Yanyan. Yanyan. Wait, um, is it greater healing? Yeah. Uh, are all of them greater healing? I only have three, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is uh my four tribes um you have four well um i originate from this one and he points to the one in yanyan um, the the it, one that is in yanyan is actually uh just marked slightly off slightly off the coast uh in mm -hmm. what you would know as the floating islands of rain This is the Antona Twins, um, where I am from. Um, then there is, uh, the Kamatsu Fields, and he points to the one in Castonia. Kamatsu. Kamatsu, sorry. All good. The, uh, Vlawan Oasis, and he points at the one in Arau. And up here, and points to the one in Fertia. The Tamva Al Caves, um, not known to still exist, but um, if it does, um, there could be powerful allies that may help us. Will it be trouble to uh, try to convince them? I mean, um,. Just to fight Dreyvok alone is, um, a task enough to convince, but, um, I'm sure that we could at least get some rest right and, uh, get closer to, uh, Versium for you, uh, Shalix. Let you go home. Do you even want to go home? Have we, has that been established? Do you want to go home, Shalix? I do have a friend up there that I would love to visit, but, uh... No... I don't... I don't... Uh, it, it was... it was my home. I don't feel like it's my home at the moment. Okay. Um, well, it's a good thing your home is where your heart is. 
So you're kind of wandering now? I'm lost for a bit. Yeah, after that plane shift. Wait, why did you appear from your plane shift? What's that? Why did you appear from your plane shift? I appeared... Um... Where did I appear, Alan? Who is Alan? <laughs> God? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Behold, mortals! I'm not... We're there's not, a we're giant... Not, we're there's not, a giant not, ugly <laughs> thing... There's a giant ugly ass greasy finger just come from the, from the ceiling and just like points at where he was. Sorry. <laughs> right there! Accidentally squishes jizz into a, a pile of jizz. Into jizz. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry, pal. Um... You would have been dropped somewhere in the Fearlands. You're not entirely sure where, but you assume that it's, uh, likely closer to the eastern coast, given that, uh, that's where you've been told the seafaring orcs are from. You're not entirely sure. Yeah, I was only out and about for a little while. Um, so I'm not 100% sure where. I, I, I know I've been traveling with these marks for a little bit, though. For how, for how long? What's the estimate here? I'm going to guess anywhere from 10 months and 2 weeks. Sorry, cool. damn. I mean, not cool. Alright. Do we have to do anything for this dragon? Some ritual, maybe? Offer up a child or something? What do I do? How do we bring him uh, here? No, he's not like that. I, I literally just kind of call him here. Man, how many times do you call him? I feel like he'd get pissed at you. He, he He's a nice dragon. Also, he probably is pissed at me, actually. Maybe. Do you have, like, a piece of gold? Because... Alright, that's very stereotypical there, Shalix. Mm-hmm. It's not much, but it does help calm them down. If you guys want to see uh -huh. a dragon, I'll I'll try to summon him outside, because... Oh, well, it's the last time you saw a, a dragon, Shalix. How do you know they like gold? Maybe that's just, just astigmatism, you know? Old old wise Stig tale. Astigmatism. There you go. I think I'm sorry. Jin, you feel a uh, tap on your shoulder. Hi. You turn and you see uh, what your previous character was familiar with, but what Jin has never seen before. Um, the tanned features of Karat's preferred human form. Uh, can I help you, sir? Oh, hey, Karat. Karat. The gold Karen. thing is real, by the way. Can as, soon as, they say, as soon as they say the word Karat, Valen. <laughs> Can I roll a history check? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna assume I don't know that name. Uh, you <laughs> would actually. Most most are familiar with the names of the ten prime dragons. Uh, in bow. the same way that most are familiar with the names of many of the major uh, deities. Um, I, w I would like to know the entire pantheon, Alan, the of major deities. Yeah, let's divert. Let's know all the pantheons, Alan. Uh, Sing a song. I, side side story. Side story. Ding 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 ding. Alabama and Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, more Delaware, Florida. Guys, stop singing. We're gonna get demonetized. Cut all that out. No, I'm off tune enough that they won't demonetize us. What money are we making? We're not. 
We're not exactly. even monetized anyways. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, if they already demonetized this, darn. I'm just not allowed to monetize the fucking uh, channel until like we get a thousand subscribers, subscribers, I think yeah. it is. It's something the game ridiculous. was rigged from the start. The game's <laughs> always been rigged. So, uh, Shalex would immediately stand in attention and salute, uh, or whatever. That's not necessary, Shalex. Just chill. I'm not trying to call attention so, to myself here. This is the patron by which we will be following. I uh, yeah. Of the clan dragons. One of the cooler ones, yeah. I try to be. There are ten. I assume that the, uh, um... And Hunter is actually clicking his fingers because Owen is trying to check something. I do assume, though, that, uh... Um... Why can't I read? Rydithia and, um... Silkorna are, uh, What a, what a history there right there. No, that's a joke. Kanth is just so kind of glaring at you. He's glaring at you, and there's like a half smile on his face, but his brow is furrowed. And you can tell he's like halfway between frustrated and like appreciative. Just like shakes what his head. So blue. So, I mean, uh, what's your business? Right. Uh, don't call me blue. Um, and I switch over to draconic. Le Leo calls you blue. Who's Leo? Uh, and just the, just some the rabbit. Leo is now. Um, oh, okay. I switch over to Jesus. draconic. Yep. Uh, Silver, that was dark. Jesus Christ. Silver, that was dark. Wait, what Silver say? <laughs> he said, "Look where he's now. <laughs> Look yeah. where is he now? Jesus Christ!" <laughs> um, and draconic, I would say. So, um, I'm not sure how much you've been following or not. Um, you know that we now have another enemy, and I was wondering. I uh, give history and. Uh, I was wondering if you could recap how uh, the dragons got into the chalices and if there is a way we can use that to capture um, this thing that has been set loose. You sure that's a good idea? I say that in Draconic. I, what are you guys saying? sounds immensely uh, dangerous, I also say in Draconic. <laughs> I just, I, I just start talking Imperial to myself, just in the corner. Inferno. I just start, oh wait, 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 I just start wait. reciting curse words in under common. You just say what? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh what did you say, Inferno? Jin, as you're no, uh, I'm just speaking gibberish. Jin, oh. as you're reciting curse words, uh. Karenth just kind of gives you a look. It's like, do you kiss your mother? Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Fuck shit, bitch. <laughs> I just, I, Alan, I want to try something. Uh, I want to say. Karenth is I... going to speak in um, the runic language. Uh, what? Such what? That you what? All understand. Uh... Fuck. Wait, that we all understand? Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, oh, do we all understand that? Uh, <laughs> in, the, in the same way that um, you've, ex all... you've experienced, you, Poyo, have experienced this before. Um, yeah. O o o only me, as far as I know. Yeah, you're, know the, you're the only person, word. only living party member that's experienced this. Really, uh, really rubbing it in here. Yeah, sure. I sure oh. fucking am. Um, Go fuck yourself, Alan. <laughs> Wait, what was your word? Rump? Fucking rump. <laughs> no. 
No, 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 no. He saved the only living party member that's experienced this because another party member had. Go fuck yourself, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh. But he says, all of this talk of languages is unimportant. Speak common. Uh, and you yeah. don't hear individual words you simply feel the meaning of Karen's vague displeasure uh, at the language switching. Does this mean I know 50 words in run runic now? Uh, no. You don't hear yeah. the words, you just feel the meaning of them. Okay, you just feel... It's, okay. similar, it's, just it's like, similar to it's that like a teacher. It's like a it's... teacher being like a... Uh... It's you know the almost, vibrations. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a... Yeah, it's like a non-verbal communication. Like, you know when your mom gives you that look and you're like, okay, I'll go clean my room? <laughs> that. that such this a man just speaking there, binary right here. There's, there's not... You don't hear individual words. It's more of you receive feelings and meaning. And you know that something is being said... Oh, but no, that's feeling. not a part of your sensory experience. I received Guys, Morse code. We're reading in Alan, up. right before anyone else speaks, right after he says that, I would just like to whisper under my breath in Celestial. Fuck. Wanderer, keep watch of us. She does. Who does? Your mom. Not important right now. Uh, my mom is. Well, I have no idea what my mom is actually. <laughs> yeah, Bo, uh, yeah. The term you're looking for to describe this creature is vampire. Um, oh I yeah, I Dom mentioned something about that. Your family, Charlax. Uh, okay. They had some important insight onto the matter. Oh. Good. Uh, the weapon that was lost to the Dark Orcs uh, was specifically designed to contain him. A particularly difficult thing to do as he, like many other powerful fiendish creatures, has the ability to step from one plane to another at will, as well as quite a bit of magical potential. Uh, on his world, these uh, folk were called planeswalkers. Sorry, go on. Okay. Sorry, uh, don't mind him. He peed his pants again. Fortunately, his... Well, I suppose, do you want the good news or bad news first? Uh, uh just give me the bad news. I don't want to hear yeah, the good news, though. Let's start, let's start out strong. Bad news. Four punches. Four punches. Yeah, punch me bad in the face. The bad news is that these vampires can turn other humanoids, uh, depending on their composition. I'm not entirely sure it'd work on you, Shalex. Um, or, um, Wait a second, so we're throwing this word around, vampire. What, what is that? It, uh... It refers to a type of it's whatever George undead was. humanoid that uh, survives by drinking the blood of other humanoids. That sounds disgusting. It is. Can they only eat blood or drink blood? Is that their only I nutrient source? That. Yes. Do they, do they like Bloody Mary? Are they malnourished? Because I don't feel like everything... No, wait. Maybe. 
They are. Did they get the nutrients? It's from that? a magic. It's not a. It's not a matter magic of people. chemistry. Damn it. We're fighting magic and people. We used to know a guy who loves chemistry. The bad news is that <laughs> he silly. will be able to make more of them uh, out of other humanoids. So what, like, kind of like a, a disease? They they reproduce like a parasite, yes. Uh, how, how do they do well, that? Like, well, By crap. drinking some of someone's blood, but not all of them. Forming a ritual that involves uh, burying the person underground alive. For oh, so, so there's extra steps then. There are extra steps. It is not an easy process if one is unwilling, but it is absolutely contagious. If well, at least you get consent to a willing host. The good news is, while these creatures are stronger and faster than many, and burn have to hell. a number of extreme abilities, they also have some weaknesses. Uh, sunlight we burn burns them. them. Oh, oh, really? Oh it shit! Does. I was only kidding. Uh, running water, in particular. Uh, also burns them. And like like tap water running? Like uh, like a river. River. Okay. Oh, so is the only water with better? So they're not afraid of me wasting water. <laughs> they would They would have a hard time crossing a river without flying or without a bridge of some kind. Uh, it's a good thing they can't fly though, right? They're just undead. Uh, yeah, about that jizz. They are oh, wait a second. able to shapeshift into a bat form. Oh, uh, a cloud. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? It's also into this stinky cloud. Apparently. I, I do have a question. Ruben raises his hand. I'm not sure if I have an answer. Go ahead. Uh, so, do all of them switch into the little bat things that we saw and the mist thing, or is that, or is, like, the mist just undead or, George? Or... or is George just special? Is he a special yeah. little bat toy? <laughs> oh, you don't know? I'm not entirely sure if George is the right name anymore. Uh, do we, we really have to call continue. him Soren? We can continue to use that name if you're more comfortable with it. I like George better. I don't know. George yeah. sounds like a more menacing name than Soren. What 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 is he gonna do? Soren? He's gonna soar? He's gonna soar? George can what George us, you know? It's a lot more menacing. Kaz or something shorter. It's not just you know, hey, I knew someone named Kaz. He was a monkey. He was weird. I'm I'm just saying in case, um, because uh there's obviously scrying abilities that could allow them to see us. Not while I'm here. No, but if we talk about them in other areas, just a short, simple, George works, but uh, is common. Mm. Fine, George with two E's. That's George. George. Un George. Un George. Boom. There we go. All right. Uh, um, question: Is there like a is there an appearance difference between these vampires and like actual people? Actually, yeah. How do we tell them apart? Do they have like what scary eyes or something? Uh, it's less in the eyes and more in uh, the skin and the teeth. Uh, they have fangs. Uh, that they used to uh, drink from people and their skin usually is significantly paler than uh, many others. A red tiefling who became a vampire would likely become a shade of pink. Okay, so let's just say uh, a dark orc is going to become this vampire. Would they be called a lighter orc? 
How so? I would call or? them a problem, actually. So, oh, so, these, the so these fangs, uh, do we, like, are they out all the time, or... I'm not yeah, is sure. it like a... Is it like when... claws? Because, like, we can go around just checking people's teeth, and, like... Man, I, I, I want to join that party of just a checking quick, other show people's teeth. teeth. <laughs> Dental when, exam uh, for everyone. <laughs> when, the, when the new one is created, is it under on George's control, or is it still with its free will? Does it have free will? It, they maintain their autonomy if it, if it is a true vampire. Uh, vampires are able to create blood slaves of sorts. Uh, is there a way of turning them back? Process. Okay. Yeah, there's a cure. Well, the good thing that the way that sounds, uh, the lich won't be able to have them fully under his control. And it sounds like there could be in each other's way, eventually. It's certainly possible. Uh, as with any alliance, it is always possible to tease the threads and play them against each other. Uh, that was one of the ways uh, the Bahir Wars were ended. Hmm. So we send letters to them and and say that uh that it was from like Dravok or something and Dravok would we will pretend that we will just write down to uh so Soren or George or whatever that hey you're a stinky poopy head and so George will get very mad and will fight him and shit. All right, what if we go the other way around though? What if we send him a love letter and then tell him to meet us somewhere and then he'll be like oh my gosh. Someone loves me, and then he'll come over here expecting someone to love him, but then we'll fucking kill him. Okay, uh, see, that's a good idea, but I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, with the looming threat of a fucking meteor hitting, hitting me, or us. Yeah, that did happen, didn't it? Yeah. So, so can I ask? You did say uh, you were going over some of the stuff that. Uh, you know, affect them and hurt them. So you said sunlight, run water, and uh, what else? Because I know I heard some other words um, coming out. I'm kind of hungry right right now. I was right? going to say there is a a third weakness. If uh, you are able to place a wooden stake, it has to be wooden. It's not like no metal whatsoever. Uh, through the chest, pure it will mobilize them. What if what if you the stake is the on crit? fire? Then it will immobilize them until the stake is burned away. <clears throat> Are those their three weaknesses? Sunlight, water, and... Wood. Wood. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> <laughs> three elements. Oh yes, the three elements. I'm not entirely sure describing them as elements is accurate. The three weaknesses, whatever. Yeah, we got sunlight, we got fire, we got the water, and then we got earth, which is the wood. The wood. They just and need then, to be afraid of with the wind. And then and we have the uh, floor. I know that we already talked about this a little, but is there any way that we can um, utilize the chalice of chalicification? As an offensive uh, maneuver? It is possible, but very, very difficult magic to pull off. Um, probably similar in scope to the meteor you mentioned. So what, we can't just stuff him in the cup? Such a thing. 
required at least ten dragons. It required all of us working together, and a lot of the difficulty was distance. Um, but it was a difficult process, both magically and. Okay. Just the, 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 the best. Probably the best way to deal with Soren's presence on our world is to reclaim the sword and uh, after s someone fully bonds with it, they should be able to trap him within it again. So we can trap him with the sword. Wait, what sword are we talking about? Uh, there's, there's a sword that we found in some, uh, some dungeon. Oh, okay. It's the sword that Normal Soren things. was freed from by the Archpreneur here. So... Wait, why'd you do that? Uh, uh, one of our, uh, a friend of mine, a friend of ours, uh, he was part of the Tardbringers as well. Uh, she uh, basically was a bit little touchy with the sword. And uh, it kind of bonded with her. And she didn't like that because that had a spirit in it. So she decided to... Uh, Set it free out into the world and kill people? Nice job, guys. Nice job. Listen, I didn't agree to it. That was before I came. I'd like to make that clear. That was after I came to. Wait, so all eyes are 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 you, Poyo? <laughs> Wait, who's 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 like the original people here? Is it just you, Poyo? Yeah. Poyo remains quiet. Anyway, well, uh, in a sense, much. Poyo was the. The first of this group that I made contact with. So, what are we, the second uh, group? More like the third group? Uh, what do you mean, the third group? A set of reinforcements. What an optimistic way to say it. Nice job. So, did you go, uh,. I, we were just hearing the bad news, correctly. Have you? Well, the uh, good news wait, was yeah. Have you said? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, what about the good or good news? <laughs> Do we have better news? Do I get a new awesome ability to uh, to fucking throw a sun at him? I, I think that's called fireball. Oh yeah, never mind. Message to my grandfather. Uh, yes. Hi. Uh, tell him I'm fine. Uh, tell him I found this group, and tell him that I may or may not have to raid his place. You can also send a message for me as well. Karen begins uh, whispering to himself. Um, you all kind of see his eyes flash from, uh, the more normal human appearance into so more draconian pure crystal reptile. orbs, like pure, oh. uh, clear glass orbs for just a split second, uh, before he returns. Uh. said that uh, that the place that you're speaking of you're welcome there uh, he said not to touch anything in the lower rooms but that the uh, upper rooms and the spyglass in particular were yours to use if you needed perfect it's great Hey, Kerif, can I also send a message? Who do you need to send a message to? 
uh, do you remember Da? Uh, he, he, he was there with, uh, at the temple as well. If you remember. I do. Sorry, it took me a moment. Yeah. Can you tell him hi? I, I just say hi. Karen's disappears. So cool to have one of the prime dragons just be able to summon. Um, I have a question for you guys. Oh, I don't know. I'm waiting for Karen's answer. Dude, to come back, I mean. What, what, what makes you say that? Well, he would come back by now. Here's, here's my question. <laughs> well, it here's takes time. Is is a horse a land vehicle? <laughs> Excuse <Yeah>. me. <laughs> Let me just quote that for a second. Technically, yes. Yeah. No, but a cart is. Horse How is it not a land vehicle? What? <laughs> I've been lied to this entire time. A horse time. is a fucking creature. Vehicle. <laughs> Humanite. No. So what did I just walk in on? A life-sized vehicle. A horse, uh, a land vehicle. We just talked to the dragon. Um, I'm waiting for Karen to get back to me. Can I have a proficiency to... in horse? <laughs> you, mean, you mean animal handling? Horse. I have, I have proficiency in land vehicles, and if a horse is a land vehicle, I have a proficiency with horses. So. Horses aren't a land vehicle? What is? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. A horse wait, is wait, a wait. Creature. So, so, if you were, like, holding onto the reins, would that count as a land vehicle? Uh, a horse is a creature. So riding, what's a land vehicle? Riding a horse would count as, um... Uh, Probably animal handling, I would say. But using a horse-drawn carriage would be a land vehicle. What's okay, the difference? that's what I'm saying. Okay, wait a second. Well, you're on a carriage, Jordan. Yeah, okay, the difference but... is you're trying to get the horse to pull a few thousand pounds. I don't know if it's a few thousand pounds. Several hundred pounds. At least 12 pounds. <laughs> at least. <laughs> The game was rigged from the start. Shut up and gallop. <laughs> Always has been. I'm just gonna say Hotel. that Eterna has been, like, doing maintenance on the rest of this entire time. That's fair. That's fair. Alright. Yeah. So, a uh, quick recap of what just happened. Uh, we talked to one of the Prime Dragons. Cool. Yeah, sorry, uh, you missed it. Yeah, you missed it. It had to be there. It was pretty underwhelming. Wait, can you hear me right now? <laughs> Wait, are you talking <laughs> right now? Eterna? <laughs> You know who should be here? The last member of the party that I haven't met. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Are y'all still in the tavern? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just casually walk inside. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, you casually uh, come into the uh, cavern dining space from the rooms that you had been in. Then Kara shows up here, right? Right? No. He's not coming back, is he? No, he's not. You've been duped. Damn it! I just wanted Karen to say hi! No. So, um... Is this all our members? Are we missing anyone? Yep, this is all huh? of them, I think. We're a bit quick. This is all of them, right? Yeah, I did not get anyone else. I'm sorry, my son uh, only got these three chumps. No, this is plenty. Three. It's two and, two, two uh, and a half is not bad. Who's the who's third the half? one? You don't want to know. Who's the third one? It's Jizz. Yeah, Hansu, uh, Jin, and Eterna, who just walked I up. Met, I haven't met Eterna. Um, Alan, after the current thing... If I had a moment, I would have head outside. Okay. Um, and I would have just uh. You step just out on the beach. Um. 
Are you listening in? I say in Celestial. Uh, how long would you wait for an answer? A typical amount of time. Five, ten minutes. Okay. Maybe at around the seven or eight minute mark. Um, at this point, you've been waiting for a little while. You've uh, sat down in the sand and you're just kind of stretching out uh, a uh, young looking core woman uh, with the typical like whitish gray skin of their kind uh, piercing blue eyes um, kind of an ashy gray hair that comes down to like their mid back uh, and wearing a, a sort of a longish tunic in uh, a pure white with like a light blue trim on it simple but elegant uh, comes and just sits next to you doesn't say anything you know beaches and waves come and go as do peoples and times I, uh, have a path to follow. What about you? My path leads where I ask it to. My this. choices were made long ago. This path that I am on. Death is not an end, Tatsu. Merely a new beginning. And uh, I'm gonna use a spell slot to cast Augury. If okay. I go now, will they be worse off for the short time? Go ahead and post Augury in chat so that I know the parameters of As you cast your uh, engraved sticks and mm -hmm. reach out to the net of fate, the woman holds her hand out and a slight gust of wind tumbles the sticks into a uh, woe result. I could always trust you to guide me. It seems that you agree that my path would be 
these people will help in some way. Many things that are necessary are not easy. They need help. Not just from me. They're grieving. But those who are don't know it yet. It's a burden. And I don't want to do it wrong for them. A flower blooms when it senses the season's change. Not before. If it blooms too early, its seeds scatter to the wind and are lost to the cold. Hmm. You have the been patient this long, old here. friend. Be patient a little longer. You said that the day we first met, I was a child back then. And you bloomed when you were ready. I believe I must return. So he just stands up, turns around, and walks back inside. While that's happening, um, Ketzel uh, <laughs> bursts into the cave um, and kind of in like his own personal whirlwind. Um, just like comes in and just like both hands down on the table. I got it for ten. Yeah, I guess he is a peacock. What'd you find? The the cart that you sent me out to go get. I managed to you get got it the for cart? ten. And he yeah! flicks, he flicks the copper? remaining. He flicks Let's the go. remaining platinum that he had. No, ten gold catches it, Man. like, Silly twists jizz. it between his fingers and then pockets it. Hey, that's mine! You said keep the change. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah, the uh, cart will be outside in 10-15 minutes. All right, Julio. Uh, everybody, you have 10, 15 minutes to pack. Go. Ah. I'm done. <laughs> Ketzel just looks right. at you for like three seconds and says, yeah. Okay. I do several backflips and go, run go, in go, circles. Go, go. <laughs> I'll take a second to try to detect portals. Um, I don't do several backflips and do run in circles. I, 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 oh, I, I yeah, hurt you my try knee. to run in circles and accidentally power slide under a table. Ah. Let me help you. <laughs> Just use this. Thank you, Arnie. <laughs> what? 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 I said thank you, Arnie. <laughs> Hello, look at your DMs. Um, Hold on. Hey, Alan. Yeah? I'm gonna roll an intelligence check to remember something. I'm gonna tell you it. But I'm still gonna tell you if I roll low. Let's go. I... I don't remember the short swords that Thad commissioned. Oh. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> this is rigged, Alan. I have been trying for weeks to convince Alan to give them to you. I want them. <sighs> hey. 
And on that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Fucking mm. leaving. Saint who? Anyway, Alan, we're back. Alan, this is Drugs. the part where Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. Okay, so as Lab. we as we step back into character, um. Uh, we'll say you guys have finished gathering and packing up the uh, bless, last bless of your you. stuff, except for that sneeze. You unpacked that sneeze. <laughs> you're, you're... I just want to say, I have pushed to talk, and I definitely pushed to talk. <laughs> Jackass. I could have made it so that that sneeze didn't happen. But, but now it's on video. Thanks a lot, exactly. Silver. Clip it. Tyler, clip it. I'm, I'm gonna soundbite it. I'm gonna soundbite it and play it every time Silver joins the chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice one, Jordan. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as we hop back into character, uh, we're gonna say that you you guys have uh, packed up all of your stuff onto the cart. Um. Which is large enough to carry five of you and then one person riding the horse. Who, who riding wants the horse. to ride the horse? I'm okay. riding the horse. I'm riding Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube is my horse. With my money. <laughs> it's my horse. It's um, my money. Uh, next to uh, Jin in the uh, cart. Yeah. Uh, so looking on the maps here, uh, there's a couple of different pathways that you guys could take um is this on the maps uh yeah if you look so at, where are we going um you're currently in lithostein harbor and you had asked uh ketzel to basically function as an expedition guide uh into the under peaks to try to find another core ruin to explore to try to like beef up and train a little bit uh, before heading off to the mainland. Okay. Um, so Ketzel has uh, I'll offer you two different paths here. Uh, there's the one where if you look uh, like above the S in under peaks on the map uh, you can see that there's like a little gap in the mountains. There's a valley. Yep, there's a valley there, and there's a path that goes up that valley. And if you look above that one, there's a much smaller valley. Uh, and there's a path that goes into there as well. You mean the really tiny one that looks very treacherous? I don't know what we're talking about. We should go to that one. Go to that one. I point in a random direction. Here, let me... Yeah, because I can't, I, I'm like looking at the map, but I can't really like see, see the map because I'm, it's far away. You're far away. Oh. Uh. Here you go. Um, I did big old highlighter. Wow, you sure highlighted it. I did. Okay. Okay. I assume that's what Alan's talking about. Uh, yeah, probably. That's what, I, that's what I was talking about. I just realized we have a voice chat in general. We do. Nah. Delete it. <laughs> <laughs> no, just rename. Just re. Just rename it to voice chat in general too. So the upper one is going to probably be a less, less time journey. But it's close to places, so would people not have explored that? There we go. Ketzel says that he knows a few paths that no one uh, has taken yet uh, along both of these. Okay, cool. So he doesn't know what's on the other end of these paths, but he does know that there are places to explore in both of these directions. Yeah, let's go road less, road less traveled. Road smart, less traveled. Smart, big. 
I think the, the more southern one is probably a good shout because it will, um, it leads us close to the center of the underbeaks, and I'm assuming the closer to the center you are, the less explored it is because it's quote unquote dangerous. Was this true information? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 to be honest, I'll just let Kessel decide. Okay. Uh, let's take the big path then. Uh, so big. Thanks, Ketzel. So you guys are gonna... You guys are gonna head down that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll follow the river until there and then just... Or whatever Ketzel recommends because we're gonna follow a guide and not go off the path. We're not? Guys, I want to combat with my sword. I don't hit oh, people. I'm sorry. Do you know what adventuring is? <laughs> it da, is da, going da, da. off the path. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, shit! Ba, da, ba, oh no! Ba, ba, cut, ba, cut it! Ba, cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Oh god! I have I have the perfect spell for this. Uh, as we're starting our trip, I ask, Hey, do you know any named places in here or near there? The mountain place. Um, the place that doesn't have the name? The pond? Whatever? The lake? The lake? The pond? The river? The tippy canoe? And Tyler, too? Tippy canoe? Tyler, Tyler too? too? Uh, no, no, not another one. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Tippy canoe and Tyler and Tyler and Tyler and Tyler and Tyler and Tyler? Who lives on a Tyler? Who lives on a Tyler? Who lives on a Tyler? Who lives on a... So, is there any name places? Um, not... A town or anything? Not that Ketzel... There's no towns within the Underpeaks. Uh, all of the towns that exist on Vilsaurus are port towns. You can see them all labeled there. Well, except for the Skybridge Temple, but that's a little bit different. Okay. That's a weird one. Um, what would be the closest main landmark here? Uh, there, <laughs> there's not really, cause I, like I said, Ketzel knows that there's stuff out here, but he doesn't know what out, what's out here, so he wouldn't know any names to tell you. So he kind of looks at me and says, "Uh, does your magic need a name? Cause, uh, I mean, I can make one up, but I don't know if that'd work." I think we should go this way. This is you. I, I named one major landmark, such as a city, mountain, castle, or battlefield. I also have no idea how to erase things. I got you. Uh, click like this and delete. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the. Spell here. Yeah, I, I know what you're I know what um I know what you're talking about. But that that would not be necessarily useful uh right now just because these places aren't named in a way that shows up on any maps. This is okay. part of a lost civilization, so these places probably did at one point have names. But you don't have access to those names, and those names don't show up on maps. Got it. Okay. Um, I need to get the identify spell. Yeah. So that that was a good thought, but like, doesn't work for this here. Okay. Can I say the end of the river? <laughs> um. That that is a landmark. I could say you could say the the headwaters of this river. Cool. Just so that travels slightly easier. Okay. Uh does someone wanna go ahead and roll a D twenty for random encounters? On your first day of travels? Yeah, who wanna do that? Eighteen! Oh. You nice. done it's an eighteen. Uh, 
Just making sure everyone knows where we're going. Did we find another okay. dead dragon? Uh, you find seven of them, actually. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not moving it again. again. <laughs> I'm not moving it this time. I can't move it this time. Ruben, you Thank have muscle. God. Go. No. Pick up the entire dragon. Go on ahead. <laughs> Go all Ruben, seven dragons. this is every barbarian's dream. You've always wanted to suplex a dragon. Right? I would hope so. I mean, right? I want to suplex a dragon. You would. I would. Yes, you would. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Any, any yeah. counters? Um, no. Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Uh you travel along the bank of the river. Um at one point you pass a group of adventurers that's uh returning from an expedition on this. Uh but this is this is a fairly well traveled path. Um as far as the adventuring uh paths that have been carved out into the underpeaks go. Uh, and you are still pretty close to town, so there's nothing unique or noteworthy in terms of ruins to explore. Alright. By the way, what? for those who wanted to see, I do indeed have Ursa with us, because she carries my things. Cool. Yep. Wait, in the cart, right? Is, is, is Ursa I would, I would assume Ursa is walking alongside the cart. I was, I was kind of hoping yeah. to find a horse cart. in check. I mean, yeah, because Ursa can only go 40 feet, and the horse is 60 feet, so I'm just kind of like, ugh. Well, the horse is I mean, also might be pulling a cart, so the horse yeah. is going about 30 feet around. Oh, cool. I ate too much today, sorry guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Um, I will try casting Beast Sense. Alright. Beast On Sense? Ursa. Uh-huh. What, uh, show me the details. Uh, yeah, it's not a... It's not a beast? It's not a beast, no. Okay. Very well done, Owen. <laughs> Why did that not work? I think you had a space in front of your, uh, slash. Slash. You kind of spaced okay, out yeah, for a to... second. Damn. Oh, I should look at homebrew druid spells. Anyway. So yeah. Uh, um, you reach a point where there's a fairly established camping ground. Um, there are two different groups of adventurers here. Uh, so it's a little bit crowded, but there's enough space for uh, you all to kind of have your own little corner of the area. Uh, is anyone going to set watches? I will watch first. Oh, well, watch middle. I'll I watch end. Can I scavenge or forage for uh, mistletoe? A sprig of mistletoe? Mistletoe. And um, wine. Sure. Uh, in fact, I could say if you wanted to, you could probably, uh, you could probably have picked one up for like five copper in town. Cool. Five copper, Alan, versus free though. Alan, can I um spend my night making little wooden stakes out of little wood? Uh, how little are you talking? Like, probably, like, knife size. Um... What about steak size? Yeah, That's you, like can, you can definitely, uh, spend your time, like, sharpening down a few sticks, uh, hardening the points in the fire. That sort of thing. How many do you think uh, I'll make? Um... Three is reasonable. If you don't complete them tonight, you'll complete them tomorrow night, so... Alan. Yeah? Before I start my watch, can I cast a spell on myself? What spell? Oh shoot, I need to 
Never mind. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. I didn't know what spell no, I should cast. No, I know what spell, but... Yeah, I know, I, I know. I'm Material sending you the description component. of it, Alan. Yeah, it requires that. <laughs> Just so dumb. Cast Fireball. I know, I just didn't think about grabbing one. No, I don't think that's dumb at all, actually. I think that makes sense. No, I think, I, I think it makes sense for the thing, but I don't think I have it. No, you don't. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I've gotten a plus, plus, what, three to my perception? I will, I will cast, um, good berry and give a berry to everybody. Yep. Give what? You get a berry. Cool. Just one berry? Just one berry. It's enough, to, eat it's it. enough food for 24 hours and you regain one hit point. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm already at <laughs> I'm just gonna shove that in my pocket. As you do. <laughs> Keep it for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Big snack. Big sneak. Yep. So yeah, so, go ahead and roll your perception check, um, Hansu. Yeah. Oh God shit! Damn. Um, one of the other groups in this campsite is also keeping watch. Um. And you Do guys you kind of silently acknowledge each other. Um. At one point, you watch as he um, spots a uh, rather curious deer that kind of come a little closer to the camp, and you watch as he kind of almost effortlessly uh, sneaks up to this deer and uh, slides a hunting knife uh, into its stomach, kind of drags it back and just starts skinning it and preparing the meat while he's on watch. So that's the end of your watch. Um, Poyo, you said you had middle? Yep. Go ahead and roll. Oh boy, this is gonna be During bad. the night, I, I six. also wanted to go hunting. Um, okay. Are I you got... gonna forgo your long rest for that? Or... Um, for part of it, yes. Okay. It was two not um, 20s. It's going to be the only good rolls I have today, isn't it? Yes. Damn it. Okay. So we'll say you um took like a short nap in the car or took a short nap in the car. <laughs> in the car. In the in the horse drawn <laughs> car. Um mm. so that you don't have to like roll against exhaustion. Yeah. Um go ahead and roll a survival a stealth and an attack with a ranged weapon or a ranged spell. You're talking to Eden, right? right. Yeah, for your hunting. Okay. So, survival. Stealth. Perfect. Stealth. And, and an attack with for a ranged weapon. weapon. Or a ranged attack. Okay. Um, so you don't... It takes you a while to find uh, any tracks. Um, and when you do, it's the tracks of what appears to be um, a rabbit. Not necessarily on the larger side, but not on the smaller side either. Um... And you manage to, despite the heavy armor that you're wearing, you manage to slip up to it and thunk, um, put a bolt into it. Uh, you can go ahead and add, uh, if you spend the rest of the night curing it, uh, curing the meat and preparing it, you can go ahead and add two rations. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't have any rations. You see, you know, that I, is I, some I, good oh, yeah, I to forgot. Have. I have some ration to to spare and shit. I gotta love them. I mean, with good berry, you don't need rations. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have the berries. By the way, Poyo, you don't notice that uh, Eterna left at all. Okay. Um. 
Unfortunately, though, the other group is keeping watch, and they're doing a decent they, job at it. Do they spot a turn up? They do. Uh, they don't. Oh wait, are we camping with the other group? Yeah, it's like a kind of communal campsite that's approximately a day's uh, journey out of town, because this is one of the more oh, okay. traveled areas. So there's uh, two other adventuring groups that are in the same general camping in the same general area as you are and one of them is keeping watch the other isn't okay um sorry i thought i'd yeah i guess that's just what i'm doing tonight okay um third watch that's me go sure. ahead and roll perception you know what alan if i wake up with Jin. Would I lose my long rest? Um, no, because you still slept. As long as you uh don't do like anything intensive, you couldn't help with the watch, for example. But I could be awake and yeah, you could be this. awake and just like relaxing. Hmm. Okay. You don't have to <laughs> sleep eight hours in order to get the benefits of a long rest. You just have to rest for eight <laughs> hours. I and would someone know that. Has to be <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Who here doesn't hug? Eleven! That's good, right? That's good, right? Yeah. Um, as you keep in watch, um, you do watch someone walk past your camp, but uh, it's one from the other uh, groups just going off into the woods to take a leak. I'm sure, jizz, that's what if you want to think. A jizz, if you will. Uh, probably not a jizz. Um, was it the was it um like a, from a group that uh, was keeping watch? Uh, no, from the other group. The group that wasn't kept keeping watch. Yep. Can the group that is keeping watch like see me if I go over to the group that doesn't have watch? Um, you would assume so. Uh, this is a vaguely forested area, but there's enough of a clearing here that, like, your campsites all have line of sight to each other. Okay. Um, Can I have started brewing a pot of tea? Sure. Um, near the mid, like, the midpoint of his watch, their watch, I, uh, bring Jin over, um, a cup of tea. Oh, uh, thank you. It is I'd... fine to stay rested and refreshed. I proceed to not drink the tea, but instead get up and walk towards the uh, the party that has the watch. That has the watch? Okay. Yeah. Um... You get maybe within about 10 feet of the campsite uh, before you hear the uh, stretch of a bow's limbs. What do you need? Hey, old friend. It's been a long night. Care for a drink? Uh... Hans, he just lifts up the teacup from the other side of the camp. I keep an eye out, but in the morning. All right, all right. See you then. Bye. I'll head back then. Okay. Hansu passes Jin cup of tea again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit down it. It's pleasantly warm in the chilly night air. <laughs> all right. That'll be my watch. Okay. Um... As you all start to uh, come to consciousness, uh, Jin, you do... Uh, you do, just barely, uh, notice a, um, a dwarf uh, carrying a longbow, um, just like slung over his back, um, and a rather dangerous looking mechanical quiver. Um, slung at his hip 
uh, just kind of steps up next to you with a bottle and um, two uh, iron mugs. Is this a wandering villager? I don't trust these woods after sundown. No, especially not with the dark orc attack recently. You heard about that? I did. Sorry for my suspicion earlier then. Uh, it's alright, it's alright. No need to be... No need to have any hostilities between us. Of course not. We're all after the same thing. Fortune and glory. I feel like that's what everyone's after nowadays. Kind of. At least anyone that's around these parts. Yeah. He nods. There's a lot to be had here. And yet my pockets are still empty. You know what? I think you're right. Be ashamed I don't think they're loudly. Uh, I don't think they're loudly. Uh, they encountered any bandits or anything along the trail. Anyone who wanted to you know, take what they were bringing back. Yeah, I don't think they really know what's uh, what the rundown is. You know. Only, uh, po or not po yeah, who the fuck? Jordan. Only, uh, Jen, and Jen's the only one that can hear him, right? Um, and Hans yeah, he's is like, still like, uh, this dwarf is talking in, like, hushed tones. Oh. Like, okay. it's not like, so it's not shit. like whispering, but it is very much a, I'm not, I'm trying not to wake anyone up, and I'm trying not to be heard. Oh, okay. Can I make a perception okay. check then? You certainly can if you'd like. After your seven on stealth. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind you, just sipping a cup of tea, just like. Who's your friend, Jizz? Fifteen. Do I roll yeah. something? Uh, do no, he does. The next question is: Have I had my long rest? Uh, sure. Good. <laughs> yeah, you guys can all mark the long rest if you need to. Um, yeah, okay. as you kind Good of approach shit. and just uh, sit down, he kind of like gives you a side eye and scoots away a little bit. Morning. Personal space. He kind Morning. of scoots and he kind of turns to like include you in the circle. Did I hear what they were saying? No. So, what are your plans for the morning, gentlemen? Wait, is Jin male or female? I always forget. Wait, what? What? I'm what pretty mean? sure Jin is male. I'm pretty sure Jin male, is male, male. No, male man, you mean. Sure. What are you up to this morning, gentlemen? Same as usual, trying to make a bit of coin. We're just heading out. Uh... Insight check? Sure. <laughs> if you'd like. 13. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothered rolling. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> uh... Hmm. I want to know his name, his social security number. Um, his credit card uh, what number. What bank does he use? <laughs> and his uh... grandmother's maiden name. <laughs> uh you get the sense you you've seen a lot of people come and go uh kind of taking in like the dark robes uh the choice of equipment um and 
taking a closer peek at some of the padding on this uh, mechanical looking quiver mm -hmm. you get the sense that this guy uh, is pretty damn good at sneaking around and that shifty look in his eyes kind of betrays that he's not just talking about honest work my friend if you want to make coin there are adventures out there yeah that's What's what we're headed thing? out to do but if uh, you ever consider picking the uh, pockets of our fellow adventurers now that's just Unfair. You challenge them fairly when they are awake. I never pick the pockets of someone who's asleep. Hmm. Besides, we're basically robbing an ancient, long gone civilization. I don't see a lot of difference. Just time. But time is a resource that is precious to every living. That's why our cities stand and theirs have fallen. <laughs> you are correct. What's your name, old man? Hansu. Ah, you're the owner of that uh, tea shop in town. Yes, I've I heard am. good things. You should stop by. My staff are keeping it well stocked. I'll consider it. Uh, good day to you, Lotus. Hansu. And he uh, stands up, picks up the bottle and the two uh, tankards. And... I I didn't catch your name. Call me Drax. Roll again, sight, or roll again <laughs> to see if he's lying? <laughs> Roll. Roll again. <laughs> Let me just post that gift real 16. quick. 16. That's a natural 5. Now I have a reason to roll. <laughs> natural 20, motherfucker! Okay. Fair. Yeah, so, uh, you kind of, you kind of, like, try to pick up on him, but he's turned away from you, and, like, the hood is kind of obscuring most of his face. So you don't really have the opportunity to see any of the, like, tells of maybe he's lying about this or not. You don't get any information about it. Mm -hmm. But he heads back over to his own camp. I'm assuming Hansu. that the gift that you posted is something about Guardians of the Galaxy. Mine is, and so is Tyler's. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I've mastered the art of standing so incredibly still that I become invisible to the eye. Watch. So, uh, who wants to roll well, for day two I, of travel? Uh, I wasn't done. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know about you, Hansu, but wise words don't really affect me that much. And well, I'm going to it goes over his head. And I'm gonna go and stealth over to the um the one with no people in it, no guards or whatever. Okay. Yeah. No as guards soon as I see him going, Alan. Can I cast hold person on him? General a stealth check. Twenty six. Uh you see him going and you start to prepare the spell and then you like blink as you're part of like trying to cast the spell and he's just gone. Well, if he gets in trouble and gets himself killed, then that's his own issue. Who gets in trouble? I wasn't listening. I'll be here for him when he comes back and probably bruised. Ooh. 
Okay. Um, you slip within maybe 30 feet of their campsite uh, before uh, one of the uh, people in their campsite, they're just kind of packing up, uh, looks to be a uh, tabaxi with kind of like a <laughs> like a mottled dark orange and black uh, fur coloration. Just kind of one of her ear, one of their ears twitches, and they kind of like glance over in your direction, start to peer closer. You feel like have they I don't is... notice you yet, but they've definitely noticed something. Have I like seen everyone's face in their group? Like, can I know what they look like? Um. Yeah, so there's this uh, tabaxi male, um, kind of like a really like a really long snout uh, that just defines the face. Um, not a attractive feature on a tabaxi. Um, there's a uh, androgynous looking gnome uh, wearing a sort of flashy tunic. Um, and you can see a whole bandolier of instruments just strapped on um, up to and including a collection of six lutes. Jesus. Yeah, he's like, you can barely tell that he's uh, wearing a tunic underneath all of the stuff on him as he's just like trying to pack it all back into the cart. Um, there is a... Um, female gnome with uh, long blonde hair that kind of stretches almost down to her heels. Um, she's wearing a decent looking set of plate armor. Um, has a long sword strapped to uh, her left hip and over her right shoulder. And when I say longsword, I do mean long. Like, the tip of the scabbard on her hip is almost dragging in the dirt as she's just sort of uh, pulling up tent stakes. And there is a um, female core um, with the typical... Uh, grayish skin, a bit of a darker coloration than you're used to for most core. Most core have a very uh, kind of like a light gray skin. This is more of like a stormy dark gray, and you could swear that you almost see like cloud shapes moving across the skin as they are packing up uh, books and scrolls into a knapsack. Alright, uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to use uh, my headband of disguise uh, and disguise myself as Drax. Okay. You uh, uh, is... shift your form down into that of the Dwarven Archer. Uh, is there anything, like, around that they haven't, like, picked up yet and they're not, like, immediately in the vicinity? Roll a perception check. Um... As you kind of glance around, there appears to be a, uh, vaguely in the center of the camp, there's a, like a small, uh, what looks to be like a strong box, um, with a, uh, fairly sturdy looking, uh, padlock on it. The lid seems to have some form of enchanted glass on it that allows you to kind of peer inside and you think you see something shiny in there, but you just don't have the right angle. It might just be the glare off of the glass or some effect of the enchantment. And that's in the middle of their camp? Uh, it's... Pretty, it's pretty close to the middle of their camp, but no one seems to be paying it a lot of attention right now. Uh, the tabaxi that had uh, noticed a sound is uh, at their sort of covered wagon, uh, where they've got crates and such loaded up. Um, the 
uh, gnomish uh, bard character musician uh, is just burdened down with instruments and like as you're watching and contemplating this almost drops one and then just manages to catch it <sighs> breathes a loud sigh of relief um, and is like packing them away into various cases uh, next to the cart and then um, the other gnome is uh, the gnome sort of warrior looking uh, person adventurer is uh, packing up one of their two tents and then the uh, what you can assume is a core arcanist of some kind is at the other tent packing up scrolls and books so they're like arranged in a a vague circle around it but they're all busy okay you get the sense that if you were fast you could probably slip out with it if you need if you wanted to uh yeah fuck i'll try okay uh go ahead and roll a stealth check <laughs> oh man I don't know if that's a good or bad Dude you're fucking dead You're dead Jordan So, uh, as you begin to uh, slip into the campsite, kind of weaving, behind, uh, weaving between some of the crates that they're kind of getting ready to load up, um, you watch as the uh, core arcanist kind of like begins like checking over one of the scrolls, uh, and you see him kind of muttering to himself, and like just kind of instinctively just kind of like helping him read it to try to figure out what it is and you see the scroll start to glow and he's like wait wait shit 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 and then it's just uh like a firework that goes off and poosh, into the sky above um and as that happens they all kind of look up and you take the opportunity to snag the strong box and you make it almost back to the tree line uh, before the uh, no musician who had uh, just finished packing away the last of his instruments kind of looks up and says hey leave it without saying hello I'm still bringing my hand up oh, sorry 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 friend I'm gonna, is there like a place that I can quickly um, like Put it without them noticing. Uh, yeah, roll a hole. perception check. See if there's any like knot holes in any of the trees right next to you. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, wait, you're seven. dead. Seven. Seven. Dead. You're dead. <laughs> uh, you don't you don't notice anything? No. You just have. I I won't look back and I'll just keep on walking. Like per, like yeah. I'll keep on walking into just the forest. That, just pretend that you're holding a like a fucking log to fire wood or something. Shove it in your shirt. Shove it in your shirt. Yeah, there you go. But do you think of a seven, he can spot his shirt? I don't know, man. Yeah, I think he knows where his shirt is. Does he know where? It's his in his suitcase. Is? He forgot to put it on this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. As you just kind of keep walking out, um. The tabaxi just kind of lightly hops up to you. Won't you stay for breakfast? We adventures well, have to breakfast. stick together. You know, I just had breakfast. We we got up really early, you know? Gotta get the day early. Oh shit. Roll a deception check. Yeah, this is this is where everything falls apart, isn't it? This game is fucking rigged. You're doing so well too! <laughs> Oh my god, a natural one. 
Oh, oh yeah. shit. This game is rigged. This game is rigged. <laughs> game is rigged. Uh, Wait a minute. Kind of you're, you're not playing a rogue well, because of Well, I suppose the... eating too much is uh, uh, not really good for your travels then. Um, Save supplies and all that. Fuck. I wish you the best out there, friend. Uh, yeah, you too. Sorry, I got lost in thought for a moment. Um, goodbye. Just kind of <laughs> turns away and heads off back to their campsite. I'll keep on going into the forest until I lose eye contact of their uh, yep. place. Uh, you managed to make it back to your campsite if you'd like, or just a secluded spot in the forest. Um, Up while I'm you. in the forest, I'm going to, um, you said I can, like, see what's inside the strong box, like uh, a glass, whatever? Yeah, you kind of, there's, like, an enchanted, like, almost stained glass over the top of it. Um, maybe a, uh, two inch by three inch rectangular window. Uh, the stained glass itself, uh, depicts a pile of coins in one, uh, like a pile of coins in one side a sword across the uh, diagonal from the bottom left to the top right with the hilt at the top right. Um, and then in the bottom right corner, there's a potion just kind of laying on its side. Uh, that's what's depicted in the glass. What you can see through the glass is a collection of several small pearls um, of various degrees of shade, coloration, and quality. Uh, the one kind of off to the side a little bit it appears to be a rather large black pearl. And as you glance into it, you can kind of see like small blue wisps of arcane power circling it. Wait, so, uh, sorry, I blanked out a little for a second. Uh, pearl, black pearl, arcane stuff. Yep, yeah, uh, and other various pearls inside. You all, you do also see a few coins, but most of the content seems to be pearls. Alright, um, I'm gonna try and, like, Thief's Duel it open. Alright, uh, go ahead and roll to pick the lock. Dexterity plus Thief's Duel proficiency. Huh. The 28... You basically look at the lock and it says ooh woo and opens. <laughs> Never do that again. Um Yeah, you successfully open up the strong box. Alright, so I'm going to solely take out the uh the black pearl with arcanist like around it. Yep. Uh the blue wisps kind of seem to like gravitate towards your hand as you're holding it. It feels and if I put it... comforting. If I put it in my pocket, it's like it can't be like seen or anything. Uh, no, it's not glowing. There's just like it's almost like uh, faint blue wisps of fog. Uh, but if you put it in your pocket, the pocket will also contain the energy. All right. Um, that's all I'm gonna take. I'm gonna close it back up. Uh, I can I lock it again or no? Uh, sure. All right. Um, I'm going to change back into, uh, myself. Okay. Um, after, like, five, after, like, a little bit, I'm going to see if they're still out there, like, the cart. Um, yeah. Uh, their cart is still out there. As you're waiting, what's the rest of you guys doing? You start to so, notice that, uh, Jin is gone. Hey, uh, with Jizz... He went to go. He went to go take a potty break, right? Who's who was with him last? I was. I don't know. And oh yeah, so he, where is he then? Um... Ketzel rips another snore from like five feet away. He's making some decisions. Sure. I insight. I insight. <laughs> sure. I'm going to. I think I insighted him. <laughs> I I, I sure do think you insight. What the fuck? Uh, Poyo, what is wrong with wait, roll twenty today? Wait, Jesus wait, Christ! Wait. Poyo, at that moment, I'll say you uh, uh that with that 20, not twenty. Yeah. Poyo, I I'll say at that moment you I kind know. of hear Jin's voice coming from the form of uh the dwarven archer, 
uh, that you had noticed kind of like come over to the campsite and chat for a little bit um, and share a drink with Jin and then uh, walk away. Uh, but you notice Jin's voice coming from the form of that same Dwarven Archer in the camp that the Dwarven Archer had not gone towards. What? It just kind of echoes a little bit. Huh, and you watch not. as uh, this dwarf that you're, this Dwarven Archer that you're not familiar with kind of stalks off into the forest after chatting for a moment with uh, the tabaxi as a part of their group. We should probably pack our stuff up. Hold on a minute. I need to go check out something. No, no, we're packing our stuff up. I'm assuming I... Do I need to see this as well? Check to see this as well? Uh, you didn't notice. I'm giving okay. to that... I'm giving that to Poyo because of the nat 20 on Insight to where he didn't notice any tells on you but he did see something else that told him what he wanted to know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go find Jizz. I'll be back in a right. bit. Um, as I'm still in the forest, look, uh, looking at them, um, I wanna, uh, can I disguise um that my thing again? Like, is there a limit? There's not a limit on the headband of disguise. Okay. Um, I'll disguise myself as a different person from that same group. Uh, from the group that had posted a watch or the group that hadn't? Uh, that had. Okay. Um, oh, Drax's the... party. You form yourself into, uh, the form of a, uh, mountain orc. Um, rather short, a little stocky. Um, huh. wearing what appears to be, uh, custom made, like, um, like slightly blued uh, steel armor um, chainmail uh, and you have a appear to have a mace at your side all right I'm going to stealth over to um, the camp that I just came from and I'm going to find a place to put um, the strong box back okay Poyo roll a perception check for me um, this, did, this go is ahead, where I fail stealth. Like, not close enough, but, you know. Yeah, like, close enough, mm, that, close yeah. enough that they'll notice Seven it, but times not two. so far away that... They'll forget it. Yeah. You you want them to see it and take it with them, but you don't want to be seen putting it there. Yes. Yeah. Go I'm ahead gonna, and release stealth. I'm gonna look for a fork and twig. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I expected that. Yeah. Uh, you managed to successfully return the, um the strong box with the rest of its contents intact if a little jangles around and i won't notice yep nobody notices um as you're heading back you see poyo kind of out looking for you generally where you had been just a moment before um i'll go back into the woods i'll, I'll revert back to um my monkey form and i'll do a wide berth of the other camp and make it back to our camp um, I'll say sometime after, uh, you disguise self back into yourself, uh, Poyo, you notice Jin heading back towards your camp. Well, I, well, all that's happening, I, I had been cooking breakfast. Yep. I run back to camp. Okay. Food's ready! As you call out, food's ready, the uh, tabaxi from the other adventuring group just kind of looks over and just like, you can almost feel the glare. And you have no idea why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what? The uh, breakfast, wait, all Gordon. Us? The breakfast. Uh, no, Shalex. What about the breakfast? Okay. I don't know. As Shalex calls out, food's ready. The tabaxi that you had told you had already eaten. I was I was Drax. Oh, yeah, I wasn't this party. Oh yeah, you're a disguise. Yeah. Unless they think unless they think, they think Drax is part of our party for some reason. I mean, <laughs> they might not know. You don't know, but they do. Uh, the tabaxi does kind of look over and just like narrow their eyes. I wave. 
kind of hesitantly holds up his hand and does like the finger wave. Doesn't actually move his hand, just like curls his fingers. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, who eats meat, who does not, and who only eats fish? Give me all the meat, baby! Good, we don't have any. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. As 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 he says that, I would like to pass uh, Poyo one of my packets of rations, which is dried jerky meat. Hell yeah! Okay. Some uh, of us came prepared. Thanks. Okay. And the rest of us didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give everybody two berries if I have enough. Okay. Um, you turn out. What do you eat? Um, I just kind of pull out like the rabbit jerky, I guess that I. Uh yeah, uh that you had spent the, um evening like at a small cook fire, just kind of, uh gently roasting it, salting it. Got it. We did have meat. Oh. You lied to me. <laughs> I said it wasn't mine to give. Ne uh, next time I'll hunt something. Um, everybody take a berry. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you all have two berries. Okay. Um, do you know that these berries only last for, what is it, 24 hours? 24 hours. Yep. Uh, so whoever pocketed the other berry, um... Wasn't it Reuben? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that will be gone from your inventory uh, this evening, if you don't eat it today. Okay. Oh yeah, I already ate mine. I'll it's just, mine. like, instantly. Whatever, I'll just shove both of them in my mouth. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> You're very nom, full. Nom, nom. <laughs> You're full. You're <laughs> very full. You're very full. Ha uh, ha ha, can we go, go now? That's okay. Every um, single one of my DMPCs just lost a point of inspiration for that joke. Uh, I can see. have that inspiration? No. Oh. Uh, okay, Sugar Cube, with another eight hours of work. Um, and if you if you manage to make it all the way, I will give you one of my berries. Wow. Roll an animal handling I... check. Animal handling. <laughs> is, is this a land vehicle? Is this a land vehicle? <laughs> animal handling, 19. Sugar Cube kind of uh, tosses his mane gently and like, um, bobs his head up and down a couple times. All right. Also, we're gonna teach you how to count, okay? One one hoof means one, two hoofs means two, three hoofs means three. <laughs> Alright. Like bends over to like start cropping some of the grass. <laughs> Alright, off we go. Okay. Everybody on? No one's forgetting anything? Uh, you guys pack up and go ahead and get on the road. Who wants to roll for random encounter today? I don't. I'm doing it. The 20. Here it goes. Okay, so the question is. So, so Alex said me first, but Silver rolled first. So the question is, do I count Alex's roll since he said he was going to roll first? Or do I count Silver's roll since he actually rolled first? Natural one. Natural one. I said me. Yeah, but you said that after Alex said I will. I well, mean, technically Owen wanted to like roll. Technically yeah. Owen wanted to roll first. He said it before both said... of them. Yeah. But, you know what? Mm. That's true, which means for the sake of but convenience, I, I I'm going that statement. to uh, go ahead and take the person who rolled first. So, congratulations on the natural one. Guys! Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> 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 
You know what? How Fuck you guys. I'm not rolling How again. Mine would, logical. Been Mine would have been that much better. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe we should just let Eden do it. <laughs> and, Eden was, and Eden was complaining about the roll 20 dice not liking I cast me a storm! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's too gross. <laughs> Actually, that's more like the dark like, forces control the deck. Yes. That's a lot of sixes. Yeah, both of those rolls were above average. Man, that was a waste. Thank. <laughs> it was wasted Think, on a. You drink. could have actually cast meteor swarm with that cleric. <laughs> not at not at third level cleric. I couldn't. Not if you didn't believe. In the heart of the cards, of course. So what happened then, Alan? So. As you guys are uh, traveling along, first first order of business, Jin, are you going to do anything with that pearl? Or are you just going to leave it in your pocket? You eat it. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to leave it in my po pocket. Okay. Um... Let me know when you decide to, like, take a look at it, or if you decide to, like, try to figure out what it is or anything. I will, Alan, I but swear not to God. Now. Yes. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> oh, Tyler. What? What did I do? Here, hold this. <laughs> Why you just give me an entire horse? Oh, God! <laughs> Well, it's a magical pony flying through the sky. Oh, let me do a strength saving throw. Uh, I, 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 die, I immediately die, and the cart stops, and we all explode. The, end. the cart stops, your hearts stop, and uh, cardiac arrest. Yeah, a doobie like that. It doobie doobie dooba doobie doobie dooba. Very. As you guys are traveling along, I'm vaguely curious if I actually... I do like being vaguely curious, but not entirely curious, because I have cold feet. You don't have socks on? No, of course not. I have sandals on. In your house? Yeah. What? Alright, we're not, hey, my... we're not friends anymore. What what are you wearing, Jizz socks? from State Farm? No, Jizz I'm wearing from socks. State Farm. Yeah. So as no, you guys are polio. traveling along, um, <clears throat> maybe about five ish in the evening, um, you guys uh, stop to give the horse a minute to uh, rest and. Hansu, you spot a uh, collection of. Well, who else would see it? Maybe. Passive. I feel like. You. Yeah, Hansu and Shalek. Eterna might. Okay. Uh, what's your passive? Passive perception. Or my passive. Mine's 14. I keep clicking 15. things. Mine's Mine. Mine. Yeah, I'm feeling late. This game is rigged. We need we need to riot, Jordan. Oh riot. no, Hansu, you wouldn't actually see this. My bad. Great. <laughs> I thought you had proficiency <laughs> in perception. Nope, it's just Shalex. I have proficiency in perception. I have proficiency in perception. Yeah, I also none, have proficiency in perception. None of your pa none of your passives are higher than seventeen, except for Shalex. Well, what if I change that percent. number? What if what if I change if that only number I anyway? Perception instead of persuasion. Yeah, what if you turn and it had nothing better to do? So she may as well be looking. You know what? That's fair if you want to roll. Ah, I, will, I, will, I will allow a turn to roll, and only a turn. In bear roll? No. Oh. Bear could if it wanted to, but. Bear I don't know. Care. It's probably on the. The bear doesn't care. It's, it doesn't do things. It doesn't so do perception. autonomously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. Do you say autom autonomously? It's a mechanical yeah, bear? Autonomous. Autonomously? A auto? 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 Auto bear? <laughs> auto bear auto com? Prime? The Autobots? Get in the zone. Auto bear. 
You die. Returno dies. Jesus. Wait, 800. I am blind. Auto bear. It's too. Yeah. It's too bright for I me. I wasn't. I wasn't lolling at the net one. I was lolling at what I sent down. That, well, that's lies. It's too bright. Hey, Shalex, you should roll the perception. So, yeah. No, Shalex, you see it on your passive. Uh, you notice uh, a collection of like obsidian shards. Um, Wait. And you like. It's the portal! You're it's looking, another portal! Uh, and. They're mostly covered by dirt and grass, but it seems to be part of some kind of a pathway. Wait. The yellow it brick road. Familiar. I, oh, and I swear to God. Oh, and this, this is the thing I'm thinking of, and this is the thing you're thinking of. I swear to God. Hey, Alan, can do I? You do you want to pick another word? <laughs> um, do I? What, Alex? What was that, Alex? Can I do magical awareness? Uh, sure. Can yeah. I do Eldritch Sight? Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys are doing a whole bunch of stuff without knowing. You also don't see it. At third level is an actually. Oh, until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. Um, so, the, uh, obsidian that Shalak sees is not inherently magical, but going ahead and using that, you do notice, uh, the pearl hanging out in, uh, Jin's pocket that you hadn't expected to notice. Is that a pearl in your other... pocket, or is that you're happy to see me? Shut the Sorry. fuck up, Tyler. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I stopped the I stopped the cart. Yeah. Hey, wait, hey, why are you stopping? I, I saw something over here. Is it a cool uh, something? I hope it's... it better be a cool something. It's if it's rock. not a cool something, then we shouldn't have stopped. A rock. It's a rock. You're, oh, you're that's a rock. the coolest thing ever. It's... You're a rock, Shalix. Let, let me see. Uh, and I, I walk. Go, I follow. I follow Shalix and shit. Yeah. Just immediately. I'll lazily get off the cart. So, uh, are you guys leaving anyone behind with the cart other than... Ketzel. Well, Ketzel's gonna go with you guys. Oh. I'm gonna tell Ursa to protect the cart. Okay. Okay. Uh, it kind of nods at you Roar. a couple of times and then just, like, starts pacing around it. Wait, did the mechanical bear actually roar? It can. Roar. Do you want it to um, eat, uh, a turtle? Wait, wait. Well? Do you want the you mechanical want to bear to roar? Um, why? I don't know. People were asking. Because Jordan wants to. I wanted to roar. Do the work. If y'all oh, ask in play, maybe. Fair. Hey, Eternal, can you make that thing roar? Why? I don't know. I think this. I think it would be cool. I just kind of kick the cool, rock. Man. Bears are pretty cool. I just kind of sigh, and in deep speech, I tell her to roar. It's a strange, almost mechanical chittering sound, combined with a very, like, deep bass. Uh, you've never heard anything quite like it, and you're instinctively intimidated. More! No. Oh. Have we started walking on the path, or have yeah. we just... Yeah, yeah. So, or, or as, as you guys uh, stop the cart and start to uh, follow Shalex, you all kind of quickly pick up on this uh, obsidian path. You kind of see uh, the various places. I want to try and get Jin's attention, but without, like, alerting other people. All right, you... <laughs> Maybe we get there. I'm, I'm going to help I'm going to okay, make Alan? that joke. Um, yeah, you hey, can you go should ahead put... and grab Jin's attention. Hey. You can grab hey. Jin's. Hi. So, uh, come here. I, I, I gotta talk to you about something. Oh, that's adorable. Alright, we can talk about something. So, uh, what, what do you have in your pocket there that's, uh, that's magical? What, my pocket? I turn out the pocket that doesn't have the thing in it. <laughs> No, no, I'm I'm in the other one. <laughs> Look, I can I can see it. It is a third grader accused of having gum in music class. <laughs> so, Alan, it does say that I get to know the school of magic. 
Um, Believe what flavor? Said. Evocation. Uh, evocation. Oh. Okay. oh. So uh, that that thingy in your pocket, other one. Yeah, come on, turn it out. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, where where'd it come from? I've always I... had this. I'm gonna roll fucking insight. Yeah, go for it. Um, Jin, go ahead and roll deception. I'm rooting for you, Alex. What the hell, bro? Oh, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you, dude. Well, Tyler, you're sad because the seven lost. Oh fuck! Now I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do I do I know uh, this? Yeah, Ru Ruben, you shit. see, you see, Jin just kind of like stuttering over his words a little bit, <laughs> and like you see his tail twitch nervously. All right, that's you can adorable. Get over now, and show me it, and we won't have issues, or I can get another pixie to explode your ass again. Which would I'm you rather? Keep have? my hands in my pockets and keep on walking. Alan, um, I hear you it. Know I hear the, you know, Alan, I hear the word explode. Do I notice? Uh, sure. You turn around and you see, uh, you see Ruben and Jin kind of having a conversation, maybe about ten feet back from the group, as you guys are, uh, slowly following this, uh, obsidian path, trying to be careful not to step on anything that might cut your boots. As I'm walking forward, I'm just gonna, um, uh, say to Ruben, You know how we met, you know? Can't be that hard to discern what I did. All right, I want to grab him by the like collar of his shirt. I, I I see this and I immediately run over to them. Okay. All right. Hey, I don't hand condone I don't condone violence, guys. No, he Unless... stole something. That's magic, and I can see it, and Unless he's not he handed it over. Some... Wait, wait, I I'll just sight immediately. Uh, yeah, you see the uh glow of evocation magic in Jin's pocket. Is that evocation you have in your pocket, or are you just happy to see rocks? I really think I'm happy to see rocks, man. Well, I don't believe you. Hand it over. No. Actually, no, wait. Oh, damn. I didn't think this through. Can I try and shake it out of him? Uh, Ruben, distract him. I got you. I, I tell you what, roll a sleight of hand check, Ruben. All right, thank you. I roll like an acrobatics to get away from Ruben. Uh, sure. Can I just look at what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys, at this point, the rest of the group will notice as Ruben kind of, like, quickly slips his hand into Jin's pocket and pulls out this, uh, like, wispy black pearl. Uh, Aha! It's What's maybe that? the, it's, uh, a little bit bigger around than a bottle cap. Um, almost perfectly spherical. It's, like, Slightly smushed on one end. Jizz, what is this? I, 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 is this like a ball? I want to toss. I want to throw it over to uh, Shawlex to get it the fuck away from Jin. Interception! <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my god! Can I actually try. Okay. Can I try to catch it? Um, you know so what? Can I try and use that? You know <laughs> what? Catch Everyone roll catch. a d twenty. Everyone who oh, wants fuck. to catch this thing, roll a d twenty. What do We're I We're really roll? playing a game of crap. Oh, I Yo, it's I mine. <laughs> this game is rigged. This game is rigged. <laughs> Silver, throw down one. Oh my god, no. Silver, Chelsea, you have no, advantage so... given that you are the intended receiver. No, Silver would just like let him hit him on the back. Ooh, 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 what the hell? Silver. Silver. Damn like Silver, advantage come on. on just natural tiny. Uh, advantage yeah. on, yeah, just a d20. 2 d20. Right. Alan. Alan. Yeah? Uh, can what? I, can I do something that might affect this? Yo, why does this feel like Monkey in the Middle right now? I'm the middle. I, that's what I'm saying! I was that's about exactly to say what Monkey this in the Middle! <laughs> um... Oh, uh, been... uh... No. Damn. Okay. No. Not strong enough? Um, not can fast I try enough to, teleport? to be able to do that and try and catch it at the same time. Can I try to teleport oh, I through forgot. it? I learned a cantrip. I forgot that I learned a, ca learned a cantrip. So yeah, um, Man, I as you kind of chuck it over, Eterna, you reach up and just snatch this pearl out of the sky. 
kind of hold. I better say, to be fair, I'm like seven feet tall, so. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, Y'all had, so y'all had no chance against Fox Girl. Hey, Aterna, Damn keep it. away from him. What do you mean? Uh, is can even, I? I'm not even trying to take it back. Can I try and identify what it is? Uh, sure. Uh, do you have the identify? Are you doing the identify spell, or are you going to just try to look at it to try to figure it out? Uh, just try and guess, because I don't know if I would have known Arcana? any like Arcana things, because I didn't. Yeah. Well. You do have that in I'm eight. Proficient in arcana. Yeah, you do have that in in eight magic, and that's where your knowledge of arcana comes from. So go ahead and roll an arcana check as you kind of uh, reach out with your uh, kind of innate magic to try to sense what's going on here. Oh, Yo, this, game this game is rigged. wild. You have no idea. You natural it, one. And you get the sense 19, that it is very pretty. Twenty. <laughs> it sure. I just is. gotta look at it, and I think it's pretty. Yeah. It's just a black wispy pearl thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a really shiny black pearl. It's mostly spherical, but like slightly ovular, like an and it's got like okay. blue fog wisps kind of swirling around it. And as you're holding it in your hand, there's kind of like curling around your fingers too. Kind of tickles a little bit. I like this, and I say that to the group. I like this. All right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Where did you get it from? I, I yeah, where did it? He... There were two different questions there to two different people. Um, That's how questions work. Yeah. So. So, um. I'm gonna keep on moving forward. I wanna figure out where the subsidian is. Do you guys wanna keep on fighting out about that, or. No, I'm fine with keep on going. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll, yeah. So, the route, I just kept it away from us, but at the same time, it's rude. I didn't keep it away from you. Y'all never said anything. Well, You yeah, also the, the not have said anything. Because really it's not that big of a deal. It's just something pretty. Yeah, okay. Alan, can I roll insight when he says it's not a big deal? It's just something pretty. Um, you get the sense that that's genu genuinely what he thinks. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... If you guys want to keep on fighting about that, go ahead. Whatever. I'm gonna keep on following this because it's weird. I drop Jin and just <laughs> whatever. Keep okay. This seems familiar anyway, Shalix. Right. Eterna, may I borrow the uh, item to see if I can identify it? Um, sure. I walk over to Eterna and try and and just put out my hand as if ready to take the thing rather than it being thrown again. Just yeah, on the <laughs> so as as that's happening, we're also moving. Forward. Yes, you are yeah. also moving along this uh, obsidian pathway. I'm keeping track of that. I don't have the identify spell, but I am going to use guidance on myself. Okay. Brilliant. Go ahead and roll your arcana move. check plus the d4. Yeah. Oh. oh. You know. Oh. 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 24. 24. That could have been a 24. Game, like, you know what's funnier than 24? 24. 24. I'm assuming I can't use my channel divinity on this. Nah. No, I can't. Not even necessary. Nope. Uh, you kind of reach out to it, and it feels like a form of arcane battery, uh, most commonly known as a Pearl of Power. Fuck you, Alan! <laughs> <laughs> um, You're welcome, Tyler. I am going to say this now, and I believe it should be said carefully. Um, Poyo. You're uh, the least magically inclined in terms of energy, correct? Excuse me? But yes. Is that an insult? <laughs> you Did insulting you... it right now? Did you just uh, call you... him a ground rule double? Did you just grand slam him? <laughs> Did you just quarter pound him, me, bro? <laughs> no, he can only do a double or triple, Alan. You know this. Um, you, um... 
can only cast so many spells before having to rest, correct? Yeah. You know, when you say it out loud, it's kind of, kind of Take sad. Take this. Uh, okay. I just give it into his hand. Um, you can use that to... Um... Everybody, quiet. Wait, I hear something. Roll the perception check. Can I roll a perception check? Yeah. You know, okay, roll. Okay. Everyone roll a perception quick, check. Quick, quick, go. I love him. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Alan, guidance on myself. Sure. <laughs> oh, do a one. Do a one. No, can I be the highest? No. <laughs> <Give me more. laughs> um, Shalex, Hansu, and Jin. Um... All of you uh, hear a faint humming sound uh, off the path to the left a little bit. After he says that, I just quickly finish what I was saying to Poyo. This uh, pearl should um, allow you to regain some energy to cast spells. Cool. I guess pass um, without a kiss. Okay, how do how do I do that? Okay. Do I just lick um, it? Give it a little kiss? Shh, I kiss it. Guys, Alan, do I know? Um You would know how to activate it. Um mm -hmm. from just your really high roll. Um mm -hmm. you have to act uh actively like hold it up to like your mouth and breathe in the wisps. Would I also know that it requires a it, command? It requires an action, and uh, it does it recharges once per long rest. Okay. It's the standard pearl it's, of power. Um, you can hold it up to your mouth and breathe in the energy, and it will recharge by the next morning. Um, it also you have to spend the time to get used to handling it. Um, so what do I just play with it then overnight? Probably at an hour. Oh, I have to study it, something. connect to it. You guys were hunting something. What are we? What, what are you hunting? Uh, uh, uh. It's rabbit season. What? No, it's duck season. No, it's duck season. It's more like a, it's more like a drone, like a... I don't think that's how drones sound like. How do you know, bitch? That's a lawnmower. Somebody's phone, you guys. It's on my so, Sorry, you sorry, know, guys. It does, actually, it. it does actually sound a little bit similar to that. Um, but a lot more bassy. It's a it's a very deep resonance. So okay. like Jordan. Like if someone's phone was vibrating inside like a echo chamber. Got it. Everybody Ooh. quiet. This way. And I cast pass without a trace. We're going stealthy. Gotcha. Everyone cool. stealth checks at a plus ten. Jin, if you don't get at least forty, I'm gonna be disappointed. Guidance. I think you're gonna be disappointed. I wrote a 12. Oh, I think you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> this game is rigged. <laughs> Holy shit. God, my Maybe I shouldn't give myself it, guidance and should have given Jin guidance. No, you already gave yourself guidance. I mean, that's still 20. Yeah, that is still 20. <laughs> yeah, why are you complaining? It is still in that one, though. Finally got a 25, not a 24. No, it's actually a 35. Well, shush. Without the pass of that trace. Hey, did I roll the highest? Yeah. <laughs> this game is Jesus rigged. Christ. I mean, I am pop monk, so. Alright. So, you all feel very well uh, hidden in the shadows as you kind of come up to. Lego Ninjago. Oh. There is a kind of uh, black uh, 
This is gonna be a phrase. Elongated octahedron. Oof. Um, le like the shape that the D8 is, except if you took two of the points and stretched them out like really far. Was this like a pillar oh, or something? Oh, those weird like, looking dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it like an obelisk? Um, it appears to be, it's just like lying on one of its sides. Um, it's this black stone with like kind of rivulets of gold running through it. Uh, and the gold kind of is shifting. Uh, is it an obelisk? It's maybe about four feet in length. You get the sense that it could have been an obelisk at one point, but is it uh, since fallen over? And you know it can't this, get up. You know what this reminds me of? Bees? An obelisk. Yeah, I thought that same thing. That's pretty obvious. Um, can, can I go up and do an arcana check? Um, sure. Well, hold on, if hold on, like. hold on there. Hold on, wait before we move forward. Um, do we see anything else around here? Um. Any tracks on the ground that might have shown us somebody walking or leaving? Roll um, a survival check. Twenty-five. As you kind of peer at the ground, the ground around this is uh, soft earth in a lot of places, where the um, where it's just kind of covered up a lot of the obsidian, uh, what you assume used to be tilings. Um, you can see imprints of, uh, what looks like where people were kneeling and praying to this thing. Uh, mostly smaller creatures. They appear to have, uh, clawed hands and feet. And there are a few places where you can see, like, as they, like, went down, like, went and put their hands on the ground as they're kneeling, you can see a few places where maybe a snout touched the ground. I whispered to Shalix, maybe they're friendly. You don't there's see no you don't see anyone there now. Oh. But oh, okay. there's definitely there appears to be some kind of group that actively worships this object. Alright. I have a question. I have an answer. Would I be able to like smell to see how recent these tracks are. Sure. Go ahead and roll a perception check. My dice are being like bipolar. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you kind of sniff a couple of times. Um, you get kind of like a like a damp, earthy smell. You're not sure how old the tracks are, but it hasn't rained in the past few days, so wherever these creatures are coming from, there's some kind of wet. Um, I kind of turn to the party. Is there a like, river nearby? Ketzel kind of uh, looks up um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Give me a second. And he kind of like, um, starts walking a wide perimeter around the obelisk. At this point, I would say, okay, for those who want to, to study it, follow me. And whoever wants to try to examine it can come with me to examine it. Uh, so that was Hansu. That's what you were trying to do earlier. Uh, anyone else want yep. to like roll at this thing? Uh, what do we roll? Arcana? Uh, yeah, it would be Arcana. Not religion. Uh, I already it rolled be, it that could be right? religion as well. I mean, okay. can I just like touch it? See what happens. Don't touch yeah. you could, you I could do want to touch it. Group if you'd like. I mean, I touched it and I'm fine. It? As far as you know. When? I caught it and then I held it in my hand. No, we're talking about no, this. Is a, something no, this completely is completely different. different. This is an, the obelisk. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a big thing oh, okay. that you can't put in your hands. Uh, yeah, no, this thing's I like four foot long. 
You could try. I could stuff something four feet in my pants. Especially in your mouth, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Jin, Jin, I'm I'm very familiar with your ability to uh, stuff four foot long objects into your pants. Exactly. Oh, you mean like a foot long from Subway? Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars. Every cake is on sale during Christmas at H H H Greg. I'm gonna use. Wait, if it's four feet. Myself. If it's four feet, shouldn't it be twenty dollars? I guess I don't know. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> four for twenty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to stop. You're right, we do. <laughs> All right, so, um, those of you who are going forward, you can roll either a religion or a arcana check. Mm. Guidance. Yep. guidance. Sure, why not? What yeah, this I is gonna guidance. fail. I don't want to like learn about it. What? I just want to touch it. Tyler, yeah. you're drinking. You're drinking yourself, but in the opposite direction, Tyler. <laughs> that's, that's that's my literally my luck, dude. Uh, that's it's religion. Sorry. There we go. Better. Uh, it's the same modifier, so I'll take the fifteen. Thank you. D four. Four. Nineteen. Okay. Hey, we're nineteen buddies, Silver. Yay. Poyo, Poyo, as you get closer to this obelisk. Uh, you kind of peek into it and you recognize a little bit of the writing on it. Yes. The phrase, yeah. knowledge for the knowledgeable. Yes. Yes. Um, likes says you kind of uh, look closer <laughs> at some of the markings on the ground and some of the markings on the obelisk. Um, you get the sense that... This object reminds you of uh, certain, not the same, obviously, and certainly not as magical as this appears to be, um, but similar structures uh, that you remember having seen uh, in your grandfather's collection that he had told you were once used to uh, worship um, Mermadran, specifically those who were uh, worshipping him in terms of knowledge as opposed to a arcane sense. Uh, these were always uh, used these were also used in the worship of the deity Nalana um, before she <coughs> gave up her godhood. Look at that. That is what you call a crow. <laughs> Meow. Um, and as both of you are starting to have this realization, Ruben, you reach out and place your hand on the stone, and the kind of shifting golden strands that run through the stones uh, quickly <laughs> together uh, to form around your hand. Uh, and ah. your hand is now, like, encased in this golden, like, lock. Ah! Help! 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 Uh, Go I ahead can't and roll. that, can I? Mm -hmm. You can certainly try if you'd like. Ruben, you want that thing off? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Counterspell! Okay, Ruben, go ahead and roll a wisdom save with advantage. Guidance! Not on saves, no. Uh, resistance. Okay. Uh, D4. Wait. One second. One second. It doesn't stack. Anything. No. One second. Two seconds. Three? Ten Alex, minutes. Go ahead and roll a D4 as well. Oh, shit. D4. Oh, oh you're dead. You're dead, Ru Sorry. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> you can't do Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll a new character. <laughs> new, okay. new roll new as, campaign. as soon as we get into a combat, I'm dead, guys, because I'm third Go level, ahead. basically. Go ahead. Well, you are okay. an old man, so that sound, that checks out. I was thinking about enhanced ability, but that only does checks. Yeah. Okay, so, with a 17, uh, as you reach out the, uh, as you try to, like, remove your hand, uh, Poyo basically, uh, unleashes a uh, weave of magic to try to release you, and 
you kind of find yourself in a contest of wills with this object. You can feel something buffeting against your psyche, and you kind of push back, and for a moment you feel like you're losing that contest, and then the wild magic in you kind of surges forward, and the gold that has wrapped itself around your hand kind of imbues itself into a tattoo across your forearm. You need to check that out to a doctor. <laughs> what the fuck? I, we need to go see a doctor. Hey, sick tattoo, bro. Ruben, choose but a, a noun, adjective, doctor. or verb. Noun, adjective, Holy or verb? A noun, adjective, adjective or verb. Me. What word is inscribed in gold across your skin? Taxpayer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, don't make the scene. Alex, don't make the scene. It's the same mistake as me, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, don't do this. Alex, this is the most important one in your life. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I need a second. Oh god. <laughs> you chose run. You chose tax plan. <laughs> I don't know what else to put. <laughs> oh my god. What are you gonna do with tax pay? <laughs> Oh, I, they're all things. He no longer has to pay taxes. <laughs> no, there are still things he could do. Oh my god. He just god. has to be inventive. <laughs> no. Very, no. very inventive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my um, god. Seeing as I'm right next to the. Alright, uh, can, I, can I change it? <laughs> sure. Um, uh, you gotta reroll. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know what this does. Like, you guys are like. Get okay, excited. No one tell him. No one okay. tell him. Oh, mean. I'm gonna. I might it look it up. You, you can't, can't look it up. up. You literally you can't look it up. This is home it's home. Home. You can't look it up. Uh, uh, There's no wiki for noun. this shit, bro. This is, bro, he's noun. asking you to play Mad Libs right now. <laughs> Alex, he's literally asking you to play Mad Libs right now. Pick a pick a letter, and go uh, with it. Noun, adjective, or noun, um, adjective, or uh, verb. Mad loves it. You Strong. Know, actually, wait a Strong. Sure. Ooh, there you go. Strong. That's gonna be a fun one. That'll be fun. That's almost um, as fun as the backup it, ones I have in, my, have in my mind. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt as the gold kind of stretches across your forearm. Uh, and it is on the inside of your forearm. Like, the gold kind of melted and traveled up your palm. Uh, mm. And you... Mm kind of look at it and it's not written in any characters that you recognize you can't read whatever language this is but you look at it and you can almost sense innately that this word means strong go ahead and increase your strength score by two oh, yes oh. I was at 17, that would be a... 19. 19. Fuck oh, yeah, baby! Shit. Going up to four! And okay. uh, once per day, you may attempt to cast a spell using this word. The spell must relate to the word strong. So, for example, if you wanted to cast the spell gust of wind, you would have to describe it as a strong wind to blow away your foes. Or oh, if you wanted so. to uh, try to summon a creature, you would have to try to summon some form of strong creature. It has to connect to the word strong in some way. But I can pretty much like any spell. <clears throat> as, yeah, as best as, as, as you can. As, as long as it relates to strong. As long as it relates to strong. strong. Um, okay, so once I per want day, to get rid of this oh, strong magic. That relates. I want to get rid of the when strong do, odor. When you do, uh, you will roll a constitution saving throw. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. 
The DC for a cantrip is 11. For a first level spell, it's 13, and it adds to each time. So for a second level spell, it's 15, third level 17, 19, 21, and so on. Okay? If I'll you reach the D if you reach the DC, you successfully cast the spell using your action. If you but... fail, you don't. If you fail by five or more, you take one D6 necrotic damage for each point you failed the save by. So uh, if the DC oh. is 15 and you rolled a nine, you'll take six D6 necrotic damage. Can you? Hey, do you uh... remember when uh, Thaliard cast water breathing on you? Good times. Same thing. Can you help me? I will. Me? I will type then... that out for you after the session. Okay. Put it in homebrew. Alan has, something. Alan has also formally changed and, and formalized those rules. Yeah. I'm gonna erase my oh. notes on it because that's gonna just go into my character sheet. Uh, Alan, right okay. after um, uh, we've got him free. Um, my Eldritch Sight the Abithilic immediately. Yep. Uh, um, Hansu hears a small voice in the back of his head. I'm saying, touch it. I, I, I poke it. And touch. He's gonna reach out and touch the uh, obelisk as well. I just poke okay. it rapidly. You reach out He's and touch it, rock. but as the bad gold rock. that has been, the gold that was like stretched through the obelisk has like now transferred to Ruben's skin. There's none left to restrain your hands. Bad rock. So, uh... So is this underground, right? Yeah, it's like lying on its side on the ground. Okay. Are there any there others? Was, just there, was one? A place, there was a place that it was resting on before that, right? Uh, there was. Um, with your survival check earlier and the perceptions that you've done here, uh, you can see that uh, one point of it is kind of coming off of uh, what you can see like a small pedestal there um, that is completely in shambles and covered in dirt and vegetation. Um, I start <laughs> with your I'm rolls, I, I'll say that you could uh, presume that this was likely floating above that, that there was some form of magic that kept this uh, floating. The humming has you gotten louder, for the record. You all watch as Hansu I... closes his eyes. Do you want us to return? Who, me? No! I, I mean, I don't really know what it it's does. It's kind of stuck to you, though. I, I, I don't really... Be quiet for a moment, please. I don't really know what it does. But... Do you want us to return? Meh. I'll keep it. I'll see what happens. Uh, what, what is he talking about, Ruben? I have no idea. Um, as you've closed you your eyes, people. in your mind's eye, you, seem, you see the same core uh, that you saw earlier, a few days earlier on the beach. <laughs> she just shrugs. These locations were important when I was a deity. Not anymore. How the hell do we do that? I mean, you're not. Broken. Yeah, you're not taking is it, it out. Is it broken or arm. just covered, Alan? Shattered. No. So the thought... stone is still there, but the oh. gold that had been in the stone has uh is what transferred onto Ruben's arm. No, so it's it's no longer. Yeah, the pedestal is mostly in ruins. You can tell that there was a pedestal there. Um. The stone is adamant. the stone is perfectly intact. There's just not gold running through it anymore. It's just Alan, a black stone. Alan, do you do I t detect any magic and shit? Uh, there's definitely a strong magic aura coming off of both the obelisk uh, and off of Ruben's arm. I tried to uh, I tried to dig <laughs> with my bare hands and uh, tried to uh, get more of the obelisk and surface i guess i don't know are we on obsidian uh yeah you guys are standing on what feels like obsidian 
uh, pathway that's like vaguely covered in like a layer of dirt. Okay, what if, what if I just chuck a fireball? I'm not gonna walk away and keep following the obsidian path. Uh, the obsidian path idea. seems to end here. Oh, never mind. Okay. Where is the humming coming from? Like the from obelisk. the obelisk still? The yeah, obelisk. Got, wanna, you said it got louder. louder. It did get louder. I want to attempt. Can I roll through. insight to see to try and figure out like the nature of it, like if it's angry or if it's just doing its thing? I want its power. Rock angry. Sure. Does, um, Hensu, does Hensu have any? I'll religious, allow insight on that. Any religious? Um, Would that be insight or survival? Items on it. It's him? definitely not survival. Um, okay. Hansu, do you have any visible religious items on you? You notice a necklace, but you can't determine what the symbol means. I have a holy symbol on holy water. Holy do you think Shalex could make a connection between this and Hansu's necklace, given the fact that his grandfather had similar but not the same stuff? I'd allow it. Yeah. Religion? Uh, sure. Roll at disadvantage, though. Disadvantage. Haha, -ha. you'll see. Double nat 20, 3, 2, 1. Damn. That's a nice well, you got 20, one dude. of them. I know. Ah, ah. <coughs> I know. I'm just there. No, you just, you didn't spend enough time with those particular items in your, uh, grandfather's collection. Yeah, I'm not, I was running around. Yeah, <laughs> you, steady. you, when you were there, you were mostly in the mode of, oh my god, look at all this cool shit, and not let me study every intricate detail. Yeah. So, you miss small things like this. Alan, don't do this to me. Don't do what to oh, you? Uh... I gave you a pearl of power. Oh yeah, never That's mind, That's what I'm you happy. wanted, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, me there. Like, I gave you a pearl of power. I gave Wonder the party a pearl I, of power. I'm gonna cast enhance ability on myself okay. in full strength. I'm gonna fucking punch you with Mithril Knuckles. <laughs> I, I'm kind of doing things. Can I roll actually, an attack Alan? roll. Roll an attack roll. Okay, okay, okay. Two punches, bro. Boom, boom. Uh, on the second one, the Mithril Knuckles seem to like ring slightly, and you look, and there's a slight crack. Uh oh, in the mithril knuckles. <gasps> oh, Not in the shit. stone. Well, yep. um, so as you are doing that, uh, you watch as um, Hansu begins to, uh, after having prepared himself uh, with some bolstering magic, begins to slowly lift the stone to try to set it up back on its pedestal. Go ahead I'm and roll the strength check. On my thing. You can't use, strength or you athletic. Can't, you can't use guidance and. Uh... You have enhance ability up, right? Oh, sorry. Yes, enhance ability is concentration. Never mind. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give guidance. Okay. Uh, does anyone want to help strength? as well? Uh, sure. What are okay. they doing? Uh, they're trying to set the obelisk back up on its uh pedestal, the ruined pedestal. But why? Why not? Is it like, like pedestal pedestal ruined? Determined. Hansu is determined. Hans is the pedestal room, though? It, 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 it's, it's like standing a quarter on its side. Wow! There's no real reason Ooh. to do it, but it's just fun. Six, yeah, six, yeah, I got bro. a ten at least. Well, with yeah, the I number... I tried for like five seconds and give up. Yeah, with, mm. with the number of you helping, um, and the stone feels surprisingly light for like its size, it's surprisingly light. Um, and you are able to, um, lift it up and set it upright, uh, as you kind of hold it upright above the pedestal, it starts to hover a little bit, and you kind of let go, and it just holds itself aloft. I still detect magic, right? Yeah. Alright. And once it's back up, Alan, I'm gonna take my amulet off, and I would just wanna... Press it against the obelisk. Whoop. Yeah, the obelisk. Uh, as you press it against the obelisk, the stone begins to like part slightly, and the amulet slots in. 
but like a fucking key into the engine uh, ignition. Uh, I did not think that would happen. The chain that you had the amulet on does not slot in, but the amulet itself does. So you can remove it if you'd like. What happens if I take the chain off and just put the symbol on? It just slots in and stays there. Hmm. Nice, you made it. You decorated it. No, that's... Um... Do I sense any Am like I difference in the magic the school? Uh, you do that. You, s you and Ruben, uh, I'll say, uh, and sh uh, and um, Eterna. Chalix. Oh, not okay. A, not Chalix. Eterna. Eterna. You, Ruben and Eterna, all sense uh, as the uh, symbol slots in without the chain. The humming seems to stabilize slightly. It becomes less of like a pulsing thing and uh, becomes more constant. I tried to feel it and see if uh, I don't I don't know just just kind of feel anything. Pat it on the back. The surface feels smooth. You can feel the vibrations running through the stone. Um, can I cast mending on it? <gasps> oh shit! You could maybe, right? Sure. Because I have it as a cantrip, so I can do it as many times as we want. Um, that is a minute casting time, right? Oh uh, yes. I'm, the entire time I'm just standing there, my hands over the symbol. Yep. Uh, as you kind of reach out and cast Mending, you don't necessarily feel any cracks or breaks or tears. But as you do uh, channel the magic into it, you see copies of this symbol appear... Uh, is that, one is on that a good side, thing? One on each side, uh, and they kind of, of center on the stone. Of what symbol? Uh, the symbol that Hansu had placed into the stone. Oh, okay. And you see... Which is a, uh... Go for it. I don't know if this is right, but a cloak, um, with two eyes, uh, in the center of the face. That could be wrong, but I thought that was what it was. Um... You can overrule me for this one. I would say three eyes. Three eyes, yeah. There, there's defi right, there's definitely some third eye symbolism. Two eyes and then the third. A third in what would be the forehead. Yeah. Um... And as these symbols appear, the humming slowly quiets down and then disappears altogether. And a single strand of liquid gold kind of reaches up from the pedestal below and begins to infuse the stone again. I tried to touch it. Oh, I I'm literally have my hands on it the entire time. Yeah. No. Oh. But... You both it reach out, happen. and oh. it the magic still seems like it's... The magic is definitely there, and it will definitely build back up at some point, but it has not recharged yet. Recharged. Nice nice wording there. All right, Interesting. We need, to, we need to put in a waypoint here. The uh, part mark our map, boys. Gotta come back. <laughs> Kessa, what do you, you think of this? Eight days, guys. I um, am still alive because I don't make a habit of touching things. Listen, listen. I, 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 I put it in my. I put words on people's arms. 
I put the, the yellow stuff in my mouth. Mm. Listen, I if I'm alive, I'm still alive to to this day. Uh. Wait, you're putting the gold in your mouth? No, wait, no, I'm not. For, okay. Forget I say anything. Dangerous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cause you were about to take some serious fucking damage there. <laughs> Not intended for children under three. Oops. <laughs> I close my eyes once again. You you fucking eat it, don't ya? No. No. Okay, good. You Jordan, feel a sense of it. peace, Hansu. You usually feel at peace with the world, but now especially I assume I can just pluck my symbol out and it's okay yep and another one appears to replace it mm. Mm. well that was confusing it wasn't me this place and these things seem to have some connection with my deity. How so? I don't know. Mm. But something so. Like you Karen, so I um, have the wanderer. She uh, guides me. If I ever need guidance, this place needed restoration. So we restored it to commemorate her. Good. I think I saw another obelisk like this. We'll find it in time. I'm sure. Anyway. We better get on our way if this is where the tra this trail ends. We should keep... Yeah. We should keep mark of this, so... Uh... Someday I'll be able to uh, recall us back. For the record, uh, mm -hmm. not that it's going to have any uh, mechanical, like it's not that it's going to have any effect on the campaign. <clears throat> that I can foresee at least uh, but I will mention that while standing within 30 feet of it uh, 30 feet of this uh, repaired obelisk you and any other followers of the wanderer are under the effect of the aura of purity spell uh, can't become diseased, resistance to poison damage and advantage on saving throws against blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, paralyzed poisoned and stunned Hmm. We're taking this with us, you guys. <laughs> Just bring it in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to go up to a tree. Okay. And with my dagger, scribe a little thing uh, to give this place a name. What do you name the place? Uh, have I heard the name of the one? Uh, you know what? of the Wanderer, uh, Nalana. The Wanderer okay. is another uh, name for Nalana. A name she chose for herself after she lost her divinity. Name it the Wanderer's Respite. Jordan, Tyler, I'm going to speak with you after the session. <laughs> Great. Because you guys need to be reminded of something from Camera and Warm. I'm gonna put it as the Wanderer's yeah. Start. The Wanderer's no. Start? Yeah. Can I, can I the go Wanderer's with you? Refuge. 
Can I what go is this fight? to Can I walk over when I see uh, 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 brain, 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 Shalax? brain, Shalax carving this? Oh, you mean blue? Shalax. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I walk over to Shalax as, as they're carving uh, this into the tree. Yep. You get there just as they finish carving. Hello. Add the word new. The wonder is new stuff. Makes sense. Ketzel looks directly at Owen and says, And how do you spell that? K N U? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> A and you. The Wanderer's like new that. start. I like that. The Wanderer's new start. Alan. Note that I said Go Owen and yourself. not Hansu. Yes, I'm aware. I regret that every day. <laughs> Shalak hears a voice from the great beyond. You know. I like the sh <laughs> new start. <laughs> uh, for context, Eden, uh, in the first campaign with this group, uh, Owen had a character that was named, named new. new. But we called him Canoe. They did. Nice. Um, I hate you so much. Well, that's its name now. The Wanderers new The Wonder New Start. The Wanderers, the Wanderers. New Start. No. The Wanderer New Start. Statement. Noun? A, 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 adjective? The Wanderers oh. New Start, and I force you to write that as the thing. You can pull out your dagger and add in the extra letter. I don't own a dagger. I uh, no, I'll pull out my kunai. Here you go. And I will make it the Wanderer's new start with K and U. Brilliant. So. One campaign away, and it still haunts me. You'll never live it down. Mm-mm. Show boulder. <laughs> I'm the boulder. The boulder. <laughs> so, uh, unless so. there's anything else you want to do with the Wanderer's new start, you continue on your journey. Fucking great. I don't know why anyone's rolling. Oh. Yeah. No. That's what I named it. No, that's what it's named. No. This no, is what because I named you it. couldn't. You can't change the uh, letter uh, letters that are already there. So now it's. No wonder a new start. No apostrophe s. No. I said. <laughs> I this was is your making fault. a statement. The wonder. Alan, um, can I cross start. out the K? Can I carve out the K? And look like it's like fancy decoration on either side of the start of the new start. I'm stating that the wonder knows how to start. But the, no. the, well, there was letters added. You're carving in a tree. Well, I... Someone else can do that. Okay, do... Hmm. Trees don't count as objects. Oh, um, they certainly can if you'd like them to. <laughs> like an item or a construct. Um, are you thinking about using mending to, like, uncarve the tree? Yes. No, I'd allow it. I'm all... Because I'm, I'm either using craft. mending... I'm, using I'm either using craft. mending to fix it, or I'm using firebolt to just burn it off. So... I'll, allow, I'll allow you to use Druidcraft to fix it. Uh, shall yeah. I? There you go. It's, it's spelled my no, way. Cause... No. That's... This is... It is now spelled... Name We're not going to argue about God. this anymore. It's... This is, this is We're not going to argue about this anymore. 
so that I could use my You guys spell. continue on your journey. Yeah. Yay. Um, finding a place to camp for the evening. Uh, gonna go ahead and set watches, or I'll there's no one. Watch. There's no other adventure parties around you this time. I'll do middle. I'm gonna put Ursa on watch, and I'm gonna go hunting again. Okay. Because I like the night. I'll go hunting too. Okay. Uh, those of you who are hunting, survival, stealth, and then an attack with a a ranged attack of your choice. Uh, and then who's on first watch? Me, Ruben. I'm on. All right. After Shalex rolls an attack, go ahead and roll your perception check. Not with advantage. No. Perception. Didn't need it. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. So, um, Eterna, as, are you hunting together or separate? Separate. Okay. Uh, Eterna, as you kind of go through, you find more rabbit tracks. Uh, do you choose to follow them or are you going to keep looking? I'm going to keep looking. Okay. You pass by the rabbit tracks, and eventually uh, you find the tracks of... Um, or rather, you f I'll say you find a, uh, a bird's nest. Uh, and you wait out for a moment, and <clears throat> a rather plump-looking dove lands... Uh, in the nest and you get ready to fire your light crossbow at it uh, but you make a bit too much noise and the dove flies off what um, Shalex you don't find I, any tracks can I climb the tree and try and steal its eggs uh, you head up the tree there are no eggs in the nest yet Yet. Damn. Take the nest. Take the nest. <laughs> no, I'm not me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you, maybe if you do the final watch, Jordan, you can steal them. <laughs> I do have question though. Okay. I'm doing the final. Now that I have a vantage point, since I'm in a tree. You didn't say that. Uh, can I see any other like smoke or landmarks in the distance? Ooh, that's a question. Um, not from this height in the tree, because this is this is on a pretty lower branch. Uh, doves don't but typically if I climb do. Higher. Yeah, I'll allow it. Uh, you need an athletics check to climb higher, though. Even with cat's claws. Uh, I'll give you advantage on that. Nice call. Advantage. And you said athletics. Yeah. I'll oh take... God, it's weird not being proficient. Oh, it didn't fucking matter. Um, yeah, as your, uh, well, your cat's claw still gets you a decent way up the tree, just not as high as you could have been, so you're having a hard time kind of, like, peering through the canopy. Go ahead and roll perception at disadvantage. I, um, to make up for my survival, can I cast a spell? Um, what spell? Locate animals or plants. Posted in chat. Uh, with a nine Eterna, uh, you look out and you make out a uh, wisp of smoke back where you had come from. Uh, the previous campsite, it looks like that's occupied again. Um, but nothing ahead of you. Okay. Um, oh, I meant to just look at that, but okay then. Because um, I was like, do I want to burn a spell slot just so I can fall out of a tree and look cool? <laughs> um, That's why they're there. Yeah, Al Alfin uh, did that once, I remember. I remember too. Yeah, I'm just going to casually step off the branch and cast Featherfall. You gently and gracefully float down 
you swear you can hear like a glissando as you just pirouette in the air or whatever I don't know nah she just casually steps off you know she doesn't she doesn't know fancy things she doesn't need to do fancy things to look fancy um what type of beast are you going to hunt or plant I'm gonna hunt a rabbit <laughs> okay um yeah so that'll make up for your uh that'll definitely make up for your survival you find the rabbit tracks that Eterna had disregarded earlier uh and with your stealth and attack you manage to bag the rabbit you can go ahead and add two rations I'm back to 10. Um, as far as keeping watch, uh, Ruben, you keep an eagle's eye out the entire night. Um, Ruben's been scarred. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I know what to name this episode. The Golden Scar. Um, or you could call it the Wanderer's Scar. Maybe. I like that, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you keep a sharp eye out, and at one point, uh, you notice a group of kobolds heading over to where that obelisk had been during the night. Uh, they seem to be dressed in various forms of priestly garb, well decorated with uh, gems and metals. Um, can I cast invisibility on myself to get a little closer to see what they're doing? Sure. Go ahead and roll a stealth check with advantage. Uh, As you try to slip up on them. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. They don't even notice you as <clears throat> they uh as they reach where the obelisk was um and where you had like stood it up. Um they kind of start cheering to each other. Do you speak draconic? I do not. Okay. So you don't understand what they say, but they start like quietly cheering to each other. Um and then they begin prostrating themselves in front of the obelisk and worshipping it. They began wetting themselves? Prostrating themselves. Like, what is that going mean? down... Like, uh, what I described earlier, like, going down on your knees and, like, hands in front. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, it don't seem to be any trouble. So I'm just gonna head back to my position. Okay. Um... After maybe two hours into your watch, you uh, notice them heading back to wherever they came from. Um, Invisibility is worn off at that point. I was going to say, um, can I see if there's like any lights that they're going towards or like any, uh, like anything that would be noticeable that they'd be going towards maybe? With a nat 20 in perception, um... If you want to follow them again, you'll definitely see. But you yeah, just can't I'll... see it from that vantage point. I'll follow them again. Uh, stealth normal. Got it. A doink. Nice. Very well done. Um, yeah, you kind of follow them and you take a mental note of where a... Uh, there's like a large... Uh, I want to say like toe-shaped boulder with just a massive crack running down the center of it, and you watch as they go into the crack and down uh, into whatever hideout that they have there. Uh, and you can see there's two guards kind of keeping watch on either side of the boulder. You can go ahead and uh, add the... add the... Uh, Toe Boulder Cobalt Clan to your map. Fucking great. 
Um, I d like. Does it look like they want it to keep like they want to keep this hidden, or um, does it look like a camp? From like, is there anything like outside of the crack other than the two guards? Or other than the two guards, there's absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. And in fact, the crack itself is uh, decently covered with vegetation. It does look vaguely secretive. If the guards weren't there, and as the uh, kobold priests kind of enter in there, the guards kind of uh, slip in as well, um, leaving you just looking at what appears to be a perfectly normal boulder, except you know that there's got to be something beneath it. How far away from it am I? Uh, how far away do you want to be? Well, because you said the guards went in as well, right? Yeah. Uh, so I kind of want to, like, get... I don't know. I want to, like, hide close enough to it where I can, like, see if I can, like, see if there's anything on the boulder. Maybe, like, uh, like, writing or, like, depictions or even, like, another entrance. But, like, not enough to, like, be spotted. Okay. That... Uh, continuing with that 18 stealth check, you make a decently close, maybe, like, 15 foot, uh, radius circle around the boulder. Uh, it's a pretty big boulder, maybe 15 by 30 foot, uh, on, like, just, like, its footprint. Um, so you're not entirely sure if the kobolds went into, like, a cave system underneath the boulder, or if they're just in the boulder, but there doesn't appear to be any other entrances or exits, uh, and you don't notice any writing of any kind. Uh, you do see, like, a few small places where... Uh, vines and such uh, have been woven together. Uh, you get the sense that the vegetation covering this boulder is intentionally placed, not naturally occurring. Uh, they're very much trying to keep this place a secret. It seems like. See, I want to do something, but I feel like it'll get me killed. That's what I don't want to do. Well, you're free to wait until the morning when you have your party backing you up. Yeah, but I have Disguise Self, and I could... Um, do note that Disguise Self, you can only change your height by up to one foot. So you'd be a pretty fucking tall kobold. Hmm. How, how tall are kobolds normally? Uh, the ones that you saw were probably between two and three feet. They're short. Um, you, you see, I have my little thingy on my arm, though. I could... Strong disguise. Strong disguise. Strong disguise. Is that allowed? You can certainly try. I will say the connection uh, between the spell you're trying to cast and the word is a very weak connection, so you will have disadvantage on your save. So, can I ask, did when they were praying, did they look like they had, like, any intentions of, like, like any... As I was watching them, did they look like they have any bad intentions, or just, like, men of the cloth? Uh, it seems like this is a... Like, this is a habitual worship practice for them. It all seemed very organized and structured... Uh, the only part of it that didn't seem structured was them celebrating that the obelisk had somehow magically, by the power of the divine, righted itself and manifested symbols. Okay. Because there's two ways I can do this with disguise self. I can either disguise myself as one of them, or I can disguise myself as maybe like an injured person to try and get them to come out, see if they'll help me. Uh, do know that, uh, Disguise Self, it, uh, doesn't hold up to physical inspection. So, like, if you disguise an injury on yourself as soon as they go to touch it, it jigs up. I am going to roll around in the dirt for a little bit. Like, okay. get myself really dirty. And I'm gonna take my, uh... 
was the I think I have a dagger. Um, and cut up a little bit of like my pants and stuff. Um, and like even go as far as even give myself like maybe just a little cut. Um, that makes it look like a lot of blood, but it's nothing minor. Like it's nothing major. Roll a medicine check for that. Alright. Boink. Um stab yourself in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and roll a one d four to see how much piercing okay. damage you take. Oh, that's that's fine. Yeah, you take two this points of piercing fine. damage. Your hand slips as you're trying to like give yourself a minor cut, and it ends up definitely being a major one. Uh, but it has the effect that you want it. There's 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 a decent Ooh. amount of blood. Um. All right. So then I kind of like blood wipe blood some of God. the. I kind of wipe some of, like, the the blood on my clothing and a little bit, like, um, just around to make me look gross. Okay. And I want oh, yeah. to, um... I'll say go ahead and roll a deception check to, just to see how good your disguise is. A boy. Okay, nice. it's decent. Um, and you're not trying to do anything too complicated, so that wasn't yeah. a very difficult check. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw myself on the ground, kind of near the boulder. Um, okay. To, uh, enough to make a noise, like, so they hear. And, um... I'm gonna hold my cut where I cut myself uh, to, like, kind of keep pressure on it but still have it bleed. Right. Um, he help! Uh, anyone out there? Hello? Anyone? I hurt myself real bad. Please help. Roll a deception check. I'll say with advantage. Oh. Just roll one more normal. Yeah, blink. Hey, the game was rigged. <laughs> um, yeah. So after after a few moments, you notice a uh, hesitant kobold kind of peeking out from behind before it's like intentionally snatched back by a larger one. Hey, hey, no, please come back. I need help. I'm hurt. I, I don't mean harm, promise. I I just, I, I'm hurt, and I need some assistance. I, I, I got lost from my party, from, from my friends. I just, I, I don't know where I am. Can you help? How do we know we can trust you? Uh, good point. Uh... I throw my battle axe. Like I push it off me. I, okay. I drop my I drop my big weapon. My my I dropped it. It it's all it's it's near away. It's off it's off in the distance. It's near away. <laughs> <laughs> um after a moment a group of three. Uh one larger than the others, um kind of come out. One of the smaller ones is uh, still wearing, like, half of the priest garb that you had noticed earlier. Uh, and the other small one is, like, uh, dressed as a guard. The larger one is uh, definitely dressed as a guard, but there's some form of insignia as well, and they have a rather large pickaxe uh, just slung across their back in place of a weapon. Um... And the larger one speaks. Who's sent here? Uh, it, it, me and my group were just adventuring, and, uh, we came across a, uh, obelisk looking thing earlier, and, uh, we, we tried to, well, we put it back, and then I just, I got lost from him. You in... fix sacred stone? 
yeah and i kind of like point to my forearm i while we were helping it this happened to me he just kind of exchanges a glance with the priest there um and then if you're familiar with i, I forget which ice age it is but if you're familiar with the uh the scene where sid the sloth gets mistaken as a deity that's absolutely what happens they kind of like begin carrying you down into their little enclave uh as soon as they uh, assuming you let like go with it oh yeah i will i'll let him do i get to, do i get to bring my battle axe with me or is it just like left out it, no or, like... it's just left out there okay can i at least like tell, push tell, it into tell, a bush literally just, literally just tell him to get your battle axe they'll probably listen Hey, can can you guys keep watch of that? Cause like that's important to me. But I won't I won't hurt you. You guys can keep ho hold of it if you want. Hold of me too. <laughs> yeah, hold of me too if you want. But I just I, I don't really want to leave my weapon out here. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the kobolds will go and uh, grab the <clears throat> battle axe and bring it down with, and you are brought down into this large well-lit chamber uh, underground that has just dozens of openings off into a uh, catacomb-like maze, catacomb-like uh, maze of mine shafts. And we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. Guys, I mean... This is why you don't split the party. This is gonna be so much fun. My silly ideas work. I'm gonna Ursa and be like, where the hell is Alex? Or not, where Alex. Just walk up to Ursa and be like, where the Where's hell Ruben? is Ruben? Ruben. And then just Ursa have Ursa knows. be like, Ursa he knows. wandered off. I don't think they will hurt me. Ursa it's might be the fine. only one that knows, because we were all asleep. Yeah, I confided in the bear and told the bear that I'm leaving. <laughs> You're the only one that understands no, me. <laughs> I was just up talking to Ursa, the bear. Yeah. I don't think. That anyway, was guys. Me. That was a ton of fun. It was. It was. That Man. was fun. I. Tyler. What happened? Tyler, is it too much to ask for you to like try to animate the whole? What word do you choose, taxpayer thing? Because, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> no, just put captions for the entire thing of all our reactions. <laughs> Is it too much to ask for you to animate that? Maybe in the future, in the far future. Okay, I might also oh, just like pay funny. someone else to animate it because yeah, that was beautiful. That was oh, amazing. Fuck, did I miss something Don't funny? make the same mistake I did. Why? Bro, no, the whole... trying to get some food. Um, when um when Ruben got the tattoo from the obelisk, were you there for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said yeah. yeah. And taxpayer. <laughs> yeah, and taxpayer. then <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, Alex, don't make the same mistake as I did. <laughs> we all just fucking died. <laughs> But me, I'm just desperately trying to. Listen, my oh, stupidity. I also love this my, so much my, what is it? With me of a, a my stupidity is my more own. than my incompetence, something like that. My 13 in intelligence pays off, guys. Not a god. I've been taking this uh, weird new pill to make my brain go faster. <laughs> so you're smarter now? I'm fine. No. no. I'm fine. stupid so, faster. My deity. Better. Faster. Still, still Harder. my deity. And you were arguing me over the name of it. I wasn't naming it because of your deity. I wanted that connection there. Yeah, sure. Because hey, Alan. There. So that they but... could head back at some point. It, the name yeah. isn't important. Yeah. Places can have more than it one name. It is to me. Places can have it more than one name. It is to me. I like oh, my name the what, best. You, you, know what, oh, you know what, oh, Owen? I'm going to call that place the Refuge. Fuck no, you. Just to piss you off. I'm going to call it the Wanderer's Refuge. I'm gonna call it the Wanderer's Potty Training. 
I, I'm, I'm gonna go. A, I'm gonna go ahead and head cannon that all of you picked different trees and carved different names in, and now that just has yes. all of the names. We need to retcon this. You know we need to I make like this. this happen. Yeah. Everyone, everyone named it something different. Mine That's your homework. I literally put it put it in my notes. It's it's what this I. Is, yep. This is your homework. Ketzel you named it the taxpayer cat. stone. Taxpayer stone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna name it the Wanderer's Potty. Oh no. <laughs> you might get spited for that one. I might. Yeah. I, I just might. like how the kobolds were like. I can speak to this day. I can speak to this it's, day. It's literally the second Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my god. Jesus. I like also, how the kobolds uh, Jordan were just and epic. Tyler, to remind you hey, do you remember Beck's dad? How Beck's dad was a god? Oh. No, he, he was Cal. He, he was he, Cal. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, he Big's was the dad god was a god. Um, and, and the whole issue that he was having, Cadier was having, um, was, was that there wasn't space in, there wasn't a domain available. And so his essence was just kind of shattering across the cosmic plane. Uh, Nalana is actually the deity that after in the events of campaign one that were future events of campaign one um you defeated the dragon claw clan and all of that happened nalana voluntarily stepped down from godhood to free up that domain space for Cadier. Ooh. and that yeah, so is the person. A god now. that's yep. my god so cat is the uh is now the goddess of or is now the god of madness um, mm -hmm. and Nalana remains as a demigod who simply wanders the material plane, hence the name The Wanderer. The Wanderer. The Traveler? And that's my deity. Not The Traveler. The Wanderer from Fallout? No. No. The Wanderer. That's my deity. Oh, well, I'm the type wanderer. of guy who will never settle down. Da, da, da. Anyways, thank you guys no, for watching. Uh, this was actually really fun. Like, this is probably one of our best sessions to date. Oh, wait, we haven't stopped recording yet? No, we I haven't. Think, I thought you <laughs> oh, stopped wait. recording. I thought you <laughs> did, too. The whole last section, last section. Alan, restart the outro. Three, two, one. Whoopee! Thank you guys Whoop. so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below what your favorite scene was, taxpayer. And... <laughs> I swear to God, don't put this in. No, don't forget, and re remember that. Uh, uh, that uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyways, bye, bitches. <laughs>